There we go. Now I can see stuff. That thing was not showing me anything. It wasn't showing me not a doggone thing. But we back. We back. We back. Notified. There we go. Now I'm seeing my notifications. TikTok was being rude. Well, let me not say TikTok. Them servers was being rude. Where's she at? Where's she at? Where's she at? She on now? There she go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is... Son, TikTok is wildin'. There we go. What, what happened? I don't know. It just ended. TikTok being wild. I literally had to close the app before we got on the live and hop mm -hmm. back on because it wasn't like... It wasn't showing me no stats. It wasn't showing me no comments. Nothing like that. Oh. I feel like I need to change the color. Blue ain't working right now. Right. Like a nice little purple. Little purple. All right. All right. We're live. Let me know the music too loud, too. I can't hear it. Okay, cool. What's up, Chelsea? What's up, everybody? Everybody coming in? Good, good, good. Can I, can I give them the grand introduction? Can I tell them who? who I was about to do it. I was about to. But go ahead. You go I'm, ahead. I mean, ladies first, if you want to go first. If not, okay, I'll you guys, look. we have Coach Brian right here. He don't want to, he, Coach Brian, get you right. He's the one that's going to make you skinny, make you healthy, not make detox you. you. I'm, I'm just playing, not make you skinny. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? He's going to get your right Slim body thick. weight. Slim thick. <laughs> okay. He's the one out here telling all the tea. Like I just said, he's the one telling all the tea. I'm gonna let you say your accolades, all your all the stuff that you have going on. But this is Coach Ryan. This and y'all don't see me talk to other people on here, so you know that he has to be the truth because I don't talk to other people. I should on not here. be smiling this big right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't talk to other people on here. This man got my number for real. Okay. <laughs> and do. Okay. Well, let me, let me so, give you your introduction. Hold up. We ain't about to just hold up. We ain't about to hold up. <clears throat> Hold up. I'm going to put the business jacket on. Hold up. Oh, hold on. Hold the on. Business jacket on. They, ain't about to, they ain't about to play with us in 2022. Oh, I know it's summertime. We're going to put it on. Okay. Where my glasses at? Where my other glasses? Not I to need. show the pads. Not to show the pads. Introducing the best of the best. Better than the test. You may not know her and you may do know her. It don't matter. She show you how to get the coochie right and tight. She show you how to make sure that your skin is popping and it's bopping and it's never flopping. Introducing the one, the only from the hills and the mountains, becoming blessing, be in the building. Y'all show us some love. Show us some love. <laughs> What's up, girl? <laughs> <laughs> we already starting off foolish. We ain't gonna get nothing. Right, done. No, I know. Hard. We gonna be three hours, three hour live right here. I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Okay. See, I was saving. I was saving this moment. I was saying, should I? Should I do it right now? Should I do it right you now? You can if you want to. You can. Right, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it right now. Hold up, cause I ain't gonna say who, but somebody sent me some goodies in the mail, and you know. See, I ain't got not a liquor box. Won't he, somebody said, "Won't he do it?" <laughs> let me let me tell y'all something. Her tape ministry is uh is anointed because I'm having a trouble. I ain't got no no night. <laughs> open it <laughs> because people be saying they be open it. So I'm like, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure it's gonna get to you and it's gonna get to you right. No, this box is disrespectful. I'm I'm out here really. <laughs> I'm out here trying to rip this thing when trying to be polite. I had my workout early this morning. I ain't trying to have another one. Oh man. Child, I feel like a little a silver cap child. Oh, these joints. Not the oh, silver oh. cap child. <laughs> oh, we got the slip and glide. What y'all know about that slip and glide? How to use? Add one eight. No, this is the funny part. I was watching your tutorial video on how to use it. You said, yeah, they said use one eight. But I'm, this is how much I use. I was like, oh. I was like, because right. people are new, and if you use what I use, you are gonna be out here pooping. I uh, no, for real. <laughs> Slipping and sliding. Slipping and sliding for real. We got the becoming natural. We got the pineapple and papaya acne wash. This is the Ooh. acne wash for your mm -hmm. face. Y'all go to her site. Everything I'm pulling out of this box is on her site. Oh, Not only that, her. but there's a promo code that we all can use, and it is it's a inside joke uh, with my followers. But it's demon time, y'all. You get thirty percent off 
right now. Uh, don't make me go back to the website because I will go back to the website. <laughs> As soon as it as soon as live over the the, the 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 stuff is over, but it's the good box was done. We got oh, no. we got the co clear. Well, my bad. The chloro clear, clear. chloro clear. Let me mm-hmm. read. Gotta put. I got these glasses on. Ain't using them. <laughs> now, can I read this in the in the? I never read this yet. Can I read this to everybody? Or no, this is no. That's specifically for you. Okay, okay, okay. That ain't none of y'all business. <laughs> ain't none of y'all business. Y'all worry about the wrong thing. <laughs> Hey, shout out to the bag. This go, hey, your packaging go hard. Your Thank you. Because a lot of people just be like, product, box. <laughs> and that's it. Product, box, here you go. Super be happy. Cleanse. She got that alpha. Ooh, yes, come on. We'll stain clothing, me. Stain certain skin, uh, skin things. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. they're a little bit too light. Turmeric is going to get you. They got Some people just got to learn the hard way. And that's on folks now. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, I got me a tincture. <laughs> Feeling your, I like this. Feeling yourself. Feeling yourself. I like you get this. it. You get it. Ah! Girl, you went in with this. I'm so here for it. I love the packaging, the labeling. Ooh, child, Thank I need to take you. me a hug. Uh, get y'all labeling classes from uh, becoming B, so you can be a millionaire. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I got to be a millionaire first. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's coming. Right. It, it's gonna be here eventually. I can't wait to use that. Between you it's and Tara, I don't know who be blessing me more. It's under how you apply it on a, like after you've picked out what you want. Mm-hmm. It says promo code under promo code. Put Demon Time. That's it. Bet you said what? Um, time? It's Demon Time. It's a joke. No, I get it. I get it. But, but I'm gonna let y'all. I'm gonna let y'all be. I'm gonna let y'all do y'all thing. Ah, it's a joke. So you could. I'm about to say you could look. It's your show at this point. You okay, can do your thing. so the first thing that I want to talk about, because I get this question all the time, um, is how do you get into herbalism? I want to talk about how I got into herbalism. I want to talk about how you got into herbalism. You are the guest here, so you can go first about how you got into herbalism and okay, well, where you learned, how you've been learning, all that. Okay, so what really sparked my interest and what sparked my process, I should have put my phone on Do Not Disturb. I'm seeing stuff starting to pop up. I'm going to do it from my computer. Um, What really got me into... There we go. What really got me into herbalism was more so my own problems. Whenever I first got to college and I first, you know, moved out and could eat what I want and do what I want and stuff like that, it was I was not making the best decisions. This was like almost 10 years ago. I was right. not making the best decisions at all. I had developed like bad stomach problems and like my body was going through some stuff, you know, and like I just decided to dive into it for myself. But another uh, character, not a character, another factor that uh, helped me dive in a little bit more, I started noticing a lot of my family members dying off for the same reason, dying off early and dying off for things that we could have prevented. So that's what, do- and, I, and I've always been a science head. I've always been somebody that wants to know like physiology and mm-hmm. how herbs work and how chemicals work. That's just, I've always been that way. You know, a lot of people know me for being the musical, loud, goofy person, but mm-hmm. to my core, I love science, you know? Mm-hmm. So I started diving into things like that, started healing myself and started helping family members out. And then I started my personal training business because I was a personal trainer before I really dove into holistic healing. So mm. I started implementing that into a lot of my clients because out here, that's especially how south, how down south I am, health isn't really like a, I ain't going to say it's not a big thing, but it's not important. Like the average meal, they start kids off with like fresh sausage and pork and chops and all that type of stuff. That's not good. You know, and like we have a lot of high blood pressure. You walk around and you see a lot of people with a lot of like from with holistic eyes. You, I mean, I don't because I don't want to offend nobody, but like you know what I'm talking about when you can see certain things, like you just know what it is from seeing it. I'm not yeah. going to go too far into details. I don't want to offend nobody. It's all love at the end of the day. But like you know, you walk around and you start seeing lymphatic problems, cardiovascular problems, you know, uh, discoloration due to kidney, uh, poor kidney filtration and stuff like that. And it, that makes like my surroundings. It, it, to everything about my surroundings told me to dive into it even more. So as mm-hmm. I started doing that and started figuring it out and then healing myself and healing everybody else, I was like, okay, I need to dive in a little bit more. So I started studying Dr. Lightly Africa's work. Um, I did Dr. Ro- uh, Dr. Robert Morris, Dr. Uh, Mel- Melanie Stevenson's, Dr. Yaki. Um, who else I did? Right now, I'm, I'm under these uh, Rob Morabi. Him right now, like he's he's dope. And, I'm, I already, and we already had all the talk about what I'm about to do in the next few months. But um, it's just been like, I'm telling if y'all have to see my room, and this ain't even all of like books on books on books, videos on videos, like, and like practice on top of practice like i'm not just out here like oh yeah just do it i've been through most of these things i've studied a lot of these things i've helped my clients with these things so i'm not just speaking from oh i read it just like no here's how it works but that's right. my whole feel 
so you could let my followers know how you started. That's it's pretty much honestly the same the same thing. I had my own issues and I've always been a science head, but mine was more so like outer space and stuff like that. But I've always kind of like wanted to know how things are working. And then when I had a doctor tell me, oh, well, you have this, but I had no signs of that. I was like, let me make sure I got this. Mm -hmm. And then I just started diving into all of these different holistic herbs. And I was like, hold on, this is kind of cool a little bit. So I just started learning about it. And then different books that I've read. I I, I was also going to say if you um, wanted to show any books, any books, because some people also um, like to, they also like to read up on books and stuff. But I did my own self teaching. And then after once now I'm like, I want to help other people. I want to have some sort of paper saying I know what I know. So now I go to a healing arts school and I'm learning it the same thing that I already know through books that I've read. So and that's, that's the part that, like, that, that kills me, bro. It's like people, and, and, I, and I get it. Don't, you and I had this, you already know how I feel about that. You and I had right. this talk already, and especially Chelsea, too, we didn't have this talk. But it's like, it's just interesting to like, for people to come up around, see our work, see what we do, and still find the littlest thing to demean. But we're not even going to dive into that. Keep going. It's, I just, right, you know, right. No, I totally get, I get exactly what you're saying. Because if you just read it in a book, it doesn't matter unless you have somebody who said that you know, mm. that you know what you know. So, Literally, I have a 4.0 because everything that we're talking about in the class, I already know. And she's like, oh, well, you know this stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I just literally exactly. have Exactly. I applied that. myself. <laughs> That's it. Um, Somebody said it's lagging. Is it still lagging, you guys? Not on my end or not on our end. I know. I hear you perfectly fine. Um, But somebody, hey, no, can't say. No, it's not. Um. Next um, was skin absorption. I want to talk about this. You can also talk about this mm. because I don't think that people understand that everything that you put on your skin, you absorb. You're absorbing the air. You're absorbing, you're absorbing your yes. environment right now. The water when you shower, you're absorbing that. A yes. pad that has chemicals, you're absorbing that. You're absorbing the stuff from what you put your washed your clothes in and now this is on your body. You're absorbing that. We are absorbent creatures. Everything that you put in your mouth, on your body, lotions oils you're absorbing into your body Definitely. that's the next topic so or is this, you want me to say so yeah, that's for you yep go ahead so i will i will say this and she already i ain't gonna go too far into it because she already know how, how how deep i go with this though but people like people make weird faces when people like us say that oh humans are poorest creatures and it was like what are you talking about if we weren't before i even say what i'm about to say just think about this if we weren't why is it that we sweat? Why is it that if we come in contact with poison ivy, we have reactions? Why is it that we can get it? Exactly. Why is it that whenever we go into saunas, our lymphatic process speeds up or our detox symptoms somewhat alleviate? It's because we are literally like, you, even though you can't see it, it's like if we was to get a, a microscope and really go within and like look at the skin, you'll see little pores. You know, and everybody, when you say pores, everybody think about the face. Like, oh, well, you know, yeah, the face and blah, 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 blah. The same, it may not be as sensitive everywhere else, but the same functionality that the pores in the face have, the rest of the body has. You know, but exactly. we, we living in a time to where people are very selective in what they choose to understand. And some people just can't grab it. I had to learn that too. Some people just can't grab that concept. I still need to get that because I will be sitting up here like, no, listen to me. <laughs> Trying to beat it and shake it into people like, no, mm -hmm. you're wrong. But that, uh, the reason why I do want to, hi, Tayana. The reason why I do want to talk about that is because there's a lot of estrogen disruptors and uh, endocrine disruptors yes. that are yes. in our products and that they're not things that you're like eating. So where, when I'm saying um, stop, stop, uh, putting these different lotions on your body. Stop. Um, and now I can't think of anything. Stop deodorant. using certain toothpaste. Yeah, yeah, certain deodorants. Exactly. Different things like that. I'm. They're like, well, I, I eat healthy, or it's 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 not going in my body, so it doesn't really matter. And it's like this stuff is actually in your body because you put it on your body, and now you have endocrine or endocrine issues or hormonal exactly. issues or anything because of your lotion it could be because exactly. of your lotion it could be because of your toothpaste because you don't have a filter on your shower head and you're absorbing all those chemicals please don't get me started on tap water but child yes right, you see so um hold on what detergent what detergent do uh y'all use 
I'm a Dr. Bronis girl. Same. In, in between that and depending on whatever I can get my hands on, because like most things I don't feel like ordering. I ain't gonna lie, I don't feel like ordering because they'd be expensive. So like, no, so I'll no, do like I do like fruit washes sometimes. Like you can get a, like a bunch of lime juice, or you can just like get just find a brand. I would tell people this instead of looking at one particular brand because everybody thinks one brand is the thing. You want to look for things that typically don't have all these additives in it. So if it has at least three to four ingredients, and then of course the things that they're going to need to turn it into something. But like mm-hmm. if you have having bisodium carbonate and all that type of stuff in there, it's like, okay, we don't really need that because that does right. go with the of, clothing. Uh, I think Seventh Heaven is uh, one of the, or is, is it Seventh Heaven or is it Seventh Generation? Seventh Heaven. Seventh Generation. <laughs> That's the one that doesn't have any dyes. It doesn't have any, mm-hmm. um, um, it doesn't have a lot. Stuff like that. Yeah, I, that's really us, what it know, is. It's like I I get the process of making it so it can clean, but people have to realize it's like you may not think it's bad, but certain dyes that they put in that stuff is banned in other countries. You know, so it's, it's like well, it's just dye and blah 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 blah. It's like not necessarily. It's still you, like it still has a, a problem. Different dyes are causing anxiety and depression in people. And yeah. okay. Relax. But wait, before we move on, what you had said, I'm trying to, I'm trying to capitalize. Oh yeah, so you was talking about, um, you was talking about like we were talking about deodorants and stuff like that. One of our biggest, our one of our biggest uh, lymphatic nodules is actually in our armpits. Reason why mm-hmm. I tell people you have to watch how you shave as well, because if you shave too aggressively, too frequently, or if you're putting chemicals, especially aluminum-based chemicals, all in that area, it literally goes straight to the bloodstream. You ever notice how people like to start shaving, especially in, in black people, we get bumps real quick. It's yeah, because the body's trying to save itself, like and you've inflamed it to that degree. And it's like, not only did you cut me open, but you put chemicals inside of me. And that messes with our detoxification process, because now, you, because like, oh, well, I sweat profusely. Sweating is not bad. It's more so like it's signs like, okay, if I'm sweating a lot, my body's trying to tell me that we're trying to get something out. So I should flush myself out. I should detox myself. But mm-hmm. if we're in a situation to where like we don't sweat, like somebody like me, I'm outside a lot, a lot, mm-hmm. a lot. And I mm-hmm. run a lot. I work out a lot outside. I train clients outside. I'm with my dogs outside. I do. I clean my yard. I'm a country dude. Like I don't, everything I'm doing outside. And like mm-hmm. I've acclimated. Like it takes me till mile two to really start sweating, sweating. Or even if I'm mm-hmm. in the gym to really start sweating. But once you acclimate to that area, you still have to be like, even now, it's like I still have to be mindful. It's like, okay, it's 100 something degrees. I'm almost on mile two and I ain't sweating yet. Something's going on, you know? Mm-hmm. And that hasn't happened to me in a while. But like, I started fruit flushing whenever that stuff happened. And then I started releasing how I needed to. But like, people need to realize that sweat isn't a problem. It's what's happening whenever you do sweat. Like, you need to pay attention to those things. Like, if you don't, if you don't, if you can't, like, prime example, towel. Body by tell if y'all know who I'm talking about. Her deodorant is amazing. It's all natural, and like she even showed y'all how to make it. But like, if you can't do that, get you some key lime. Put it underneath there. Good. I haven't actually wore deodorant in a while, and so, I don't stink, and I do not the, stink at all. The thing with that, because there was a time when I was like, oh, let me just try some natural deodorant. I use the natural deodorant, and then I'm funky. Who did it, and why did they do mm-hmm. that? Like, don't. No. And then they're like, well, that's why I go back to the aluminum base. Um, for me, when I explain why you're funky, I'm like, well, it's because your inside stink. Hey, you have thank to you. use these thank fluoride base, this alcohol, mouthwash, this heavy deodorant because the foods that you're eating I don't are use stink. mouthwash no more. It, thank you. So, like, the stuff that you're using literally stinks. So, detoxifying your blood and detoxifying your gut are going to be the easiest ways to combine that with the natural mm-hmm. deodorant because when people i see girls all the times or all the time use key limes key limes that's not gonna work for me okay so now we need to talk about mm-hmm. your diet Th- that part and then on top of that i love that we both agree in chlorophyll because like i know when i first dove into chlorophyll that's a natural deodorant for the insides now granted mm-hmm. the old-fashioned way chew on peppermint spit it out don't swallow it spit it out swallow the juice yeah, that's mm-hmm. one way of doing it, but, like, most people are not going to do that. That's too pungent for them. But, like, mm-hmm. chlorophyll is one way. Making sure you, like, go in a sauna. Like, that's another way. Making sure you actually, what like, is- reasons why I make my detoxes now. If y'all go on my site, like, high key why I have a lot of my detoxes because, yeah, you may stink for a moment, but that's because you're finally actually smelling how you really smell. I be trying to tell yeah. people, like, your pheromones, like, they're supposed, like, you'll be surprised. What's musty to, to one person may smell like I don't know if I can use this word, but S-E-X to another person. 
You know, so oh, yeah. it's like, and they and they'll eat that up because it's like, oh, what the pheromones smell healthy? Does that and the third? They may not realize it, but it's a very subconscious mm-hmm. and instinctual thing that we've been having since the beginning of mankind. So it's like, yeah. I'm not saying walk around phone people. What I am saying is, if you're going to walk around with no deodorant, is that and the third? Cleanse yourself out. High key, one of the reasons is because we're consuming things that aren't natural, things that don't break down properly. We have and, ascending, transverse, yeah. descending, uh, and, and rectum. All that's all pieces of the colon. If you clean that mm-hmm. out and you balance your stomach out, you'll be good. But I digress. I can talk about that for days. We go to the next. No, thing. I got. I'm with you. I'm with you 100 percent on that. I was just gonna say uh, when you were saying things that that don't break down in your body, I was gonna say literally stuff is like rotting in your body. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, like that's what duh. parasites come from, y'all. But ain't none of my business. When no about parasites, y'all get crazy. Do you want to talk about parasites? Because uh, well, we can I got time. That for inflammation, inflammation. <laughs> the next one is fibroids. I get questions all the time about fibroids. That is not my specialty. I know about it. I just don't feel as comfortable. I know that that's something that you know a lot about. So mm-hmm. I want to talk about fibroids, and then fibroids, PCOS, um, and endo endometriosis. We'll talk about parasites um, in the next section, which is inflammation and weight loss. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's going to be the longest one. That's what I'm trying to get through all these other ones. But go ahead. Oh, no, you good. Um, the last study that I read up on fibroids before I even go into it, did you know that black women in particular, at, on average, 60% of our population has some form of fibroids? And that was the last time I, that that statistic was out was about, I want to say about 10 years ago. And to be honest with you, I've been checking out like deformities and ailments and causes and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. I honestly have been avoiding that stat number now because I'm knowing it's worse. People that yeah. I personally know, like have it. And I'm pretty sure it didn't jump up to the 70s or 80s. But I will say this. When we talk about, well, let, let's. If we're going to talk about fibroids, we have to. Un- I'm going to kind of hint at PCOS because I feel like they're not going to understand unless I break that down. So mm-hmm. PCOS is a syndrome. A syndrome is a compilation or a sum of a bunch of diseases or reactions that the body is trying to do to heal itself. So anytime we start seeing fibroids and things of that nature, if we're going to be completely honest, it's borderline tumor. It's borderline cancer behavior. So what people need to realize is that, like the, the myth that cancer spreads. Cancer doesn't necessarily spread. The acidosis is systemic, and that causes problems to stem out in other different areas, even though it's affiliated with cancer or it functions as cancer. It doesn't mean that your colon cancer spread to your lungs and you have lung cancer. No, your acidosis has spread it from one part of the uh, of the organism, I mean, of the system, to another system. So when we start talking about fibroids and things of that nature, it's a part of a syndrome, or it leads to a syndrome. So if... Believe it or not, y'all, it's just accumulated waste that has yet to be properly filtrated out of the body. Like, when you think about how fibroids form and arthritis forms, one's crystallized waste that's stored within the joints, the other is cellular waste that's stored within the fallopian tubes and things of that nature because you got to think about where they're at. They're inside the tubes. They can be on side on the mucoid membrane. They can be in the wall. They can be right on top of the, uh, the, the bladder in between the uterus. Like, it's so many ways it can come about. But essentially... The, uh, the things that don't get fertilized or the love, the passing that happen whenever it's time for menstruation and things of that nature. If you're not mm-hmm. properly filtrating and cleaning out, which ultimately goes back to the kidneys and adrenal glands. But if you're not properly filtering out and you're not eating the right things and your body can't process the aluminum that's in your deodorant, all the, the toxic meats that you're eating, all of the bad, you know, the stuff that you're putting on, on your body, all it mm-hmm. does is coagulates. So whenever you start seeing people doing detox and things of that nature, like, oh, my God, I had a fiber. Oh, prime example. I don't know if y'all saw the last thing I posted. But um, the guy he had to um, they had a surgery. He had a surgery, right? They had to remove his his um his stomach and colon to get it oh. out. Mm-hmm. It was like thirty plus pounds of, of, of fecal matter. Yeah, that's essentially what fibroids are. Is like if they was to like pull out the tumors or surgically get them out, you hear a lot of doctors say, "Oh, they stink and they're the worst." And some of them actually have like teeth, eyes, and stuff like that. Is because it's a whole bunch of molecular structure that tried to be something, but the waste stopped it or the acidity or the acid the systemic nature of acidosis is what stopped it and messed it up so it caused everything so hard and it caused everything to be stored in these little pockets and these little molecular forms and then you
body can't harder are getting bigger because it's time for another cycle. Body can't filtrate. It's time for another detoxification. Mm-hmm. Body can't filtrate because either your kidneys or your adrenal glands are weak because that's a whole nother process of diffusion. Your lymphatic, uh, what well, you got something to say? I want to just uh, talk about acidosis a little bit because I don't think a lot of people know that part. Because when you're saying oh. acid, pairing it together, I want. Oh. I just want to get, you know. Okay, so <laughs> acidosis is is a it's a systemic process. So. So whenever somebody accumulate as okay, prime example. So let's talk about kidney failure and diabetes because it's, it's pretty much the same thing. When your pancreas cannot use insulin as the key to get the proper sugars in the molecule for it to eat, or let's go back to the kidneys. Whenever it's time for the kidneys to diffuse mm-hmm. and mix with the blood and send things to the bladder or fecal matter or whatever, or dump it to the gut, they can't do it because they're too acidic. Mm-hmm. Same causes what you're eating, what you're putting on your body, things of that nature. It all causes the same stuff, but essentially what's happening is it gets to build up to where it starts either eating away at that specific gland or organ or it starts it starts to shut it down so it can't filtrate so the waste which is typically acidic builds up reasons why i say it's systemic so once it gets to a certain level it starts causing damage or it spreads so when we start saying acidosis you have extremely think about chemistry you have alkaline well you have you have acids and you have alkaline you know so it's like it's tipping on this side. So now it can't function properly because acids typically dissolve. Just think about right. acids. They it, dissolve, yeah. they break down, you know, they destroy, you know? So it's like, you have to realize that when your body gets to that point of acidosis, systemically, you are overdue for a good flushing. Reasons why I've been promoting lately, a lot of nettle seed, mm-hmm. a lot of nettle seed tea, a lot of dandelion roots to get them livers in the, mm-hmm. in the pancreas uh, going. Reason why I've been doing a lot of pumpkin oil too. Like every, everything in my new detox I've been doing to kind of get, those main systems moving again so people can have a fighting chance. But that's when I say acidosis, that's essentially what I'm talking about. Yes. Uh, you can definitely ask questions. I might not answer it right away, but um, I will see all of your questions. Um, but, and also if you are, cause I, I know a lot of people are like, Oh, well, I, I'm not acidic. If you eat, uh, somebody said alkaline water. If you eat McDonald's, you're eating fast food, you're eating processed foods, you're eating a bunch of candy, you're eating a bunch of sugar, you're eating a bunch of processed sugars, you're eating, you're drinking a bunch of juices, soda. Um, you are acidic. <laughs> like I was going to put it like that. You are very acidic yep. and you need to flush all that out and be, well, and I'm not going to say be alkaline because there's certain areas of your body that need the acid. Thank you. They, right, they're certain, I've been trying to tell that to people for the longest. It's like you will literally die if right, you are 100%. If you're alkaline. Let me not keep going, Shay. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> so, so it's all about keeping the your body balanced. And if you have certain areas of your body that are too acidic, um, then you're gonna have issues. Just pretty much, it's gonna be eaten off different glands or your body's going to have an inflammation response and you're going to have a bunch of mucus in your body. If you have a bunch of, if you constantly, all that, that's your body yes. literally telling you, hey, yes. I'm inflamed. I have a bunch yes. of acidic. I'm, I'm trying to repair myself. Mm-hmm. But um, thank you guys. Um, So that was just on that. I just wanted to touch on that so then people kind of put the two together. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, but continue. okay, cool. So, but yeah, before I continue, mully and leaf, y'all. Mully and leaf is really good for that. I used to suffer with uh, bronchial congestion real bad. Do you say, um, you say mully and? I say mullein. What is that word? <laughs> I don't. I don't. Know. I just say mullein because that's how that's how it looks phonically. That's how it looks. To me. Yeah. But we. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm glad we're talking about the same thing. But that's that's one of the things, especially whenever I was like when I back when I was running track, where especially cross country, I wasn't eating the best. So it's like I would be pushing my body, and especially when you get to that level of, of cardiovascular health. Things like to come up quick. And I was like, why do I spit so much when I run? Why so much cold coming up when I run? But down here, before I started eating right, uh, my mom and was cooking a lot of white rice, you know, a lot of, mm-hmm. it's, it's just a lot of gunk, you know, but mm-hmm. mulling leaf is good for that. But to go back into the fibroids and stuff like that, we have to treat fibroids how we would treat tumors because it's exactly the same thing. It may not form in the same places exactly, or it may not be addressed by other people the same, but a fibroid is essentially a different classification of a tumor. So when we start talking about cleaning up the system and detox and things of that nature, don't be surprised if you get on the detox and you pass something that's pretty much this big or bigger. And not just, and I'm not trying to scare nobody, but we have to realize that the body is made to heal itself. So mm-hmm. just because it hasn't happened to you doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. I remember whenever mm-hmm. I first started, I, I remember when I passed my first parasite. To me, not to me, it's cool. 
it's really because like I'm like, oh cool, that's cool. But to average person, mm-hmm. they flipping out. You mm-hmm. know, but like worms my body. You see what I'm saying? But like, but that they can't like Oh, you have parasites, blah, blah, blah. We understand that on a microscopic level, on a, a little bit of a bigger level, and a in a very intrusive and this overpopulative uh type of manner. But they see it as a worm. Oh, it's a mm-hmm. worm, and it's a right. lot deeper than that. You know, it's like something literally that that you can't see. That small, mm-hmm. even smaller than this, can mess up like the um the booskin uh African booskin something worm, but ask African booskin uh, uh uh hookworm. That's most people that oh. have like that di- that have diabetes and stuff like that. They have those in their pancreas. Mm-hmm. So it's like if you borderline diabetic or you have those things, that parasite is probably in there. So. But we can't lead most conversations with that because most people they had like once they hear that, any other truth that you're gonna say flies. It's like whoop, I don't want yeah, to hear it. Either. So I, I lead in my detoxification <laughs> processes with like, okay, let's get you on a more electric way of living. For my guys, they already know we go berry heavy because that's good for your your health mm-hmm. down there, it's good for everything else, and it thins your blood to where you can have more vitality. Same thing with women, but it, it hits a little bit different in the thyroid area and the pituitary areas. For women, I say you can do berries as well, but more so if your body is, and I got to remember too, bodies are sensitive. If you can handle citrus fruits and things of that, of that or sub acids and acid fruits, how people like to say it, get that. But if not, melons. Like, I cannot express to y'all how beneficial melons is for, over the board for everybody. You know? Did you know zucchini is a melon? Hmm. Zucchini and cucumber. I know yeah. cucumber. I didn't know zucchini though. But they look alike. Mm-hmm. So why it, did I think they are exactly they all grow the same? Okay. Like the the reason why most people don't really think to associate it like that is because they chew through they chew through the skin. Mm-hmm. But like most people can't chew through a watermelon because those right. twenty pounds and blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. But it's it just because you can chew through it doesn't mean that it's not a melon. Melons mm-hmm. the skin of melons should not be eaten at all. <laughs> or cucumbers. No. But um um so which i did not know that either um but okay so for recommendations for fibroids and pcos you can go on my page you guys already know what i say i want to get i'm pretty sure you're gonna say the same thing cleansing your liver cleansing your kidneys um but i want i want you to say it. oh well essentially what she said but i'll i'll, I'll say this um the detox that we dropped recently on the first of this month it focuses on all of those things now Y'all might, y'all might not like what I'm about to say, but I do implement enemas in those processes because we have oh, to realize hydro- that. Say it again. Yes. Like a hydrocolonic? E- essentially. but And, and yeah. the manual ones that you can do yourself. But it's like, I like to tell people that, you know, we have to understand that if we're going to clean our bodies out and detoxify the proper way, we have to like, because everybody has a colon. Everybody has an ascending, transverse, descending, which goes into our rectum like everybody has a colon. Just like, let me see if I can pull up the picture. I had a, I had a picture. I want to show people what I'm talking about because you know me. I like I like my facts. Right. As um, he's talking about that, I do want to talk. The entire detox process is nothing without pooping. So when he says that animal part. or hydrocolonic, it means that, you're, yes, your body's going to push everything out, but or push it, your body, your liver is going to try and detox you. But mm-hmm. it's nothing without bulking that poop up, which is why mm-hmm. I always say like taking psyllium pus or something and then literally pushing it out of your booty. Uh, Yeah, look at that. That That's a nasty, yeah. that's nasty. Yeah, whenever, I'm going to explain whenever <laughs> you done that. Look, do you think, Shay? Oh, no, I was just saying, I was just saying, but um, yeah, so don't let enemas or hydrocolonics scare you. That's really just to cleanse you out uh, and hydrate you too faster. Yes. But. Yes. So when we talk about the colon being being in a state of crisis even like eat because and look even if you vegan i hate to do this to y'all but like just because you vegan don't mean you healthy like we have vegan products out here that's just as processed as meat that's why i say you should be more plant-based than anything but uh essentially what i was talking about like how people develop like fibroids and things of that nature here's a picture of your intestine slash col- slash colon right so essentially what's going on is look how the vessels are expanded look how the walls are expanded we have clumps here and there and it's all squished up and it, it doesn't look smooth. It's not because so, the body is made to contract. It can't contract properly because you got the gunk and stuff right here with a little bit of molecular passageway coming right here. It's like the toxins in there, they just get stuck. So it's like, yeah, you can be eating healthy and doing this, that, and the third. But the reason why, especially to the new people, I say get on the enema is because this stuff has been sitting in here, believe it or not, for probably months. 
like I had people do my detox and within a week, like drop 20 pounds, but that's because their colon was full of gunk, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's like, whenever we say, oh, well, there ain't nothing going up my butt and blah, 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 blah. It's like, okay, live with this then. Because we have alpha and beta receptors and what toxins do, they destruct. So you, now you met, reason why your weight is all up and down, your metabolic responses don't know how to respond. You have toxins floating around inside your body. And guess what? Mm-hmm. It's because the veins and everything right here, there's still absorption going on. Most of your hydration actually is absorbed in the colon before it finally passes out or dumped into it before it passes everything out. Look, so I, di- I digress. I digress. When I, just let's picture. just say, and that's yeah, that dude, that's, so. that's insane. That is insane. Yeah. So I had, I did do a colonic. I'm going to say two things. I had, I think, hot Cheetos way. It, was a, it was a long, I don't remember when I had it, but it was, I'm going to say at least a week or two before I had the hydrocolonic. I had the hydrocolonic ladies like, and it was the 30 minute one. So she's sitting there like, yeah, you one. have, she's like, you haven't passed anything. I'm like, no. And she's like, <laughs> you need to she's like, I'm just gonna let you hydrate because nothing, nothing so finally I'm hydrated I, after I feel like I'm getting full backwards and she's like it, it comes out one is this big and y'all I kid you not it was black not only was it black but then after I had red coming out and she was like okay what well have you had beaks I'm like no and she's like are do, you, do you, are you in pain? I'm like, no, I'm not in pain. And she's like, I was like, I did have hot cheetos. She was like, freaking out. <laughs> she, was. she was. She was like, what's going on? <laughs> so like, I, so I had hot keto die still in my body from a yes. week before, or at least two weeks before the hydrocolonic. So y'all, if you don't do anything else, if you don't do any kind of uh, detox, if you aren't listening to us, do a hydrocolonic. I think you can get them on Groupon for like forty dollars. It, instead of getting uh, Starbucks for a week, get your get your hydro for real. <laughs> like, get your hydro- but, but most of them, most of them not expensive. Like yeah. I've done even without even without insurance, I've done a yeah. lot of like research, especially in Arizona. They're not expensive at all. And I yeah, I recommend- what's a month of putting a little five ten dollars there, and then like okay, you got a full session, mm-hmm. and we're like, oh well, all that for a hydrocolonic. But then the benefits that like you are essentially giving yourself a thirty day head start. Yes. Like your body, don't get me wrong. Your body still has to acclimate. It's not a, it's not a one stop shop. But like, it throws you light years ahead of where the regular average person has to start. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, is child, y'all better hop on the train because yeah. I know, for, I know for me, I'm going to that room. Right, right. I can't. One of my friends then told me about one that's out there because the one out here closed after COVID happened. Oh, right down the street, closed. Mm-hmm. So like, now I got to drive like an hour and a half, two hours from where I'm at. But it's worth just it. to um, just to get it. It is so worth it to have a hydrocolonic. Um, not only that, but like uh, like we said before, you you are hydrating yourself, and your skin looks better because you're hydrating yourself. It uh, does. Your skin looks better because you're getting all that poop out of your body. You would be surprised yep. what comes out of your body when you do an enema or a um, hydrocolonic. I'm actually gonna do one before my trip. So I ain't gonna lie. I would love for you if you can if you do it before me to like record it and then like do like mm-hmm. a review on it. People need to see stuff like that. I definitely will. Yeah, I definitely will. Um, Because the first one, I didn't do like the weight loss where everybody's like, oh, you lose or I lost this amount of weight or I lost whatever. Um, But yeah, this time I want to see how much weight I actually do lose. Because I, I guarantee you I lost at least five pounds. With- oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to it's push you. It's going to push you. But like, yeah. and that's what people need to understand. It's not to the, it's not even intrusive to the point to where you get up and you're done and it's like, Oh my God, like I'm five pounds lighter and oh, I feel lightheaded. It's like, no, you're going to feel like a new person. You do. You feel cleaner. And it's, it's a weird, it's, it's weird. I, I felt lighter. Personally, I did feel lighter. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm coming back. And a lot of the people are, and I'm going to say this, a lot of people don't think, um, well, I'm not going to say like us. I want to say, I know what you, meant, um, you know, like they're, they're natural people too. So, mm-hmm. The, like for example the lady let me stay there for a whole hour i only paid for 30 minutes mm-hmm. but she was like you need this yeah. <laughs> and you need that. before before the money your health is what i'm worried about instead exactly so, the people are very um what are you guys talking about okay but the people are very um welcoming at least from what i've been yeah most of them are i mean you you gotta think about it you have to 
one of my biggest things was cleanliness because it's like, mm -hmm. you know, it's like we, if they're not clean properly, then you're literally putting somebody else's matter or toxins inside of them. Yeah. But then this one lady I found in the, what the people in Baton Rouge, she showed her process and her filtration system. Mm -hmm. Bro, like nothing is getting through that. Nothing. Like she has like a, a cylindrical compressor. She has a tube, another tubular compressor after that. She has a filter pad. Mm -hmm. And then the water has to go through that. And I'm sitting there like, what? I'm like, bro, like, how much this? Because, like, it's not cheap. She's like, oh, yeah, this is like a $10,000 yeah, machine. Yeah. You know, but you get, you will, bro. It is worth it. It is so it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Okay. Somebody asked, where can I buy this? I'll get the procedure done. Um, Hydrocolonics, just just research your local area. Just type in hydrocolonics or hydrocolonics, and it'll pop, it'll pop yeah. up. Yeah, it's a procedure. It's not something you could just buy and get break I out. get <laughs> I get mine on um Groupon because they're just cheaper. I'm gonna start doing that. My mom would been Groupon and I, I never did it, but I After to Tiffany Haddish was talking or Tiffany Haddish was talking about um Groupon, I was like, let me go see. Let me see what this is about. Side note, if you haven't, go watch her interview with uh T Pain on the Nappy Boy Radio podcast. Mm -hmm. It is so funny. It okay. is so funny. <laughs> And okay. she was dropping gems too. She was dropping for the people that was listening. She was dropping gems. T Pain honestly does in general. I'm gonna say mm -hmm. he does in general. Um, inflammation and weight loss. Uh, we can couple the weight loss also with PCOS. I do like to give um advice for the girls who do have PCOS because I feel like a lot of women who do have those different things follow me, and it's very hard to lose weight when you have PCOS, and it also is. really hard. And I know that you know about cravings. And how to not have those sugar cravings. Mm -hmm. um, so inflammation. So whenever we talk about, you want to in correlation to to weight, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we talk about inflammation, well, I mean, we can just all encompassing. Okay, that changes my answer. Um, <laughs> so when we talk about inflammation, is borderline the conversation we had earlier about acidosis. But here's the difference: inflammation is more so the first reaction. Acidosis mm -hmm. is like the, okay, I didn't warn you, and you just got to deal with this and fix this when you fix this, and I'm just going to do what I got to do. But inflammation is one of the first immediate responses that the body gives. Inflammation, even though it's bad, it's more so a warning or like a signal like, hey, you ate something or something happened that is causing you like to become inflamed. You say what? Don't do this. It, yeah, exactly. Saying, it's like, it's like a stop like, sign. Hey. Don't do that. <laughs> exactly. So, like, when it comes down to how that correlates with weight control and things of that nature, I don't see... Well, I, okay, I'll say this. I'll, because people don't understand what inflammation is, is why they don't... I don't feel like they can correlate to weight loss or weight gain. Because if... Let's think about it. If if you jam... If you in heels and you walking in some rocks and, Lord, your ankle just go whoop and now you just sprained your ankle, right? You, you can't walk the same until that swelling and inflammation around the ankle goes down because now the body's like, whoa, whatever you did, we can't, we can't afford that again. So we're going to do what we know how to do to not only warn you and, and like every time, oh, it's sensitive to the touch. Yeah, leave me alone because now I yeah. have to heal because of what you did. You know, and mm -hmm. that's essentially what inflammation is anywhere else. You can't expect to have good metabolic responses or weight management, which is another word for metabolic responses. If you're inflamed, your gut is inflamed because you're putting processed things inside of it. You're putting poly or disaccharides inside of your system instead of monosaccharides. You're putting red meat and beef inside of your stomach rather than mushrooms and vegetables and fruits and things of that nature. You know, mm -hmm. or quinoa or wild rice rather mm -hmm. than uh, white rice. You know, so it's little things like that that add up. Like people like us, we both wear glasses and I'm still trying to fix my vision. It's, it's a process. I'm still trying to fix my vision. But like it's honestly used inflammation. It's right there. <laughs> okay. Le <laughs> religiously. <laughs> religiously. And what people need to understand is like the the I, I kinda I gotta make people understand this. So blood is one of the two I let me I gotta break it down in two different ways. So one our eyes, the color part of our eyes, is already a map. If y'all study iridology, it's one of the biggest maps that we can use to find out what's going on, where, and what body part, however, whatever was going on. I remember the first time I got my first reading, they was talking about my left leg. I, all, I have like, I don't have Velcro's veins, but I have like really big veins in my left leg, but I'm left-handed. So everything on my left side is dominant. 
But um, I developed that when I started running cross country and stuff like that, and it runs in my family. But like, even when my iridologist had read it, he was like, "Yeah, I'm like artery problems in your left leg." I was like, "No, I said I just have this really big vein, and like, it, I went to the doctor. I've been studying. I've been on my magnesium and iron. Like, nothing's wrong with it." He was like, "Okay, because your eyes showing me this." So one like that was a reiki. Uh, so it showed me that. But then all, as well, for people that don't know, it's like the infl- another form of inflammation. You need cardiovascular operations in your optic areas to determine your depth perception. If mm-hmm. if you're not getting the proper amounts of fluids and blood and stuff like that, it's like you're like prime example. I had an astigmatism in my left eye. I don't know what if the camera's reflecting right for y'all, but this is my left. So like mm-hmm. I had an astigmatism. It was I don't know if you had one or have one. I like it's hell. So bad. It is hell. Like with lights, like ring lights and stuff. Like before, before I fixed it, I couldn't look at this. Like it mm-hmm. would like blur. Like it would get all sharp and like I, I didn't yeah. like it. So mm-hmm. like and it's really just like the shaping of the cornea. So, like, I was on Eyebright, I was doing my ocular exercises, and that rounded itself back out. But now it's just my depth perception. So, once mm-hmm. I get that that uh, finished with, I'm good. I don't need these. Not lenses. only that, but people who have glasses, um, I this is just my theory. Um, they say go in every, uh, every year to get your eyes checked or whatever. I notice that every time I go in, I get a new prescription. And it's a lot stronger than the last one. But I, but my glasses worked before. So why am I constantly updating my prescription? And that's just constantly making my... Because your eyes get used to this now. So mm-hmm. your my theory is you are worsening your eyes the, the more... The strength... The stronger your glasses are. Can I, can so, I give you an answer to that and tell you how true you are? Go ahead. Yeah, I had to change my prescription... Theory. I haven't changed my prescription in almost four years. Yeah. All because of eye bright and eating right and making sure I do my ocular exercises and eradicating mm-hmm. my astigmatism is like, they're, they're going to do what they have to do, whether they know it or not. The system is to designed keep to keep money. In their, exactly. You know, so he said, what did you just say to use for your eyes? Eye bright. It's eye bright. Eye bright. Or you can get the herb and blend it. It's a flower. You can get the herb. And blending, and drinking in a tea form works just the same. But um, they're going to do that to keep you coming back. I haven't been to the doc, even my contacts that's up there. I haven't changed prescriptions in in, in almost. It's going to make four years in November. Like mm-hmm. I haven't been back there. And like even the one time I had went to get a new uh fitting for my contacts because my I, my stigmatism went away. He was like, "What happened?" He's like, "Your stigmatism is gone. Your vision is better." I was like, "I've been taking my herbs. I've been doing this, that, and the third. He was like, "All right." And that was the last time I was at the doctor's office. That was the last time. Yeah, this has been getting better. Yeah, so I would say, and this is what I always say: use doctors for their equipment. As long as you don't have glaucoma and you and he made sure that your eyes are still blinking and you looking right, don't update your your um prescription unless you actually cannot see through your prescription, which I doubt. I I'm pretty sure you can see through your real glasses or through your glasses that you have. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so I'm glad you said that because that was just at first it was just a theory to me. No, you're like, right. You own it. Don't feel like i need a new prescription but okay they, they said you gotta remember they said things and this may go over some people's heads the things that we deem normal and routine as rites of passage in life that's mm-hmm. systemically planted so it's like unless you question it that's why i say question everything unless you question it or like you go against the grain you wouldn't even know any better because the routine is to have optimal eyes every mm-hmm. year you gotta go in based off of what they're saying and blah 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 it's like okay I, like you said, I use them for the things that I can't do on my own. I can't run my own blood tests. So, yes, I will use you for that. But at I the can't. same time, I may not go off of your metrics because my metrics are different than yours. Or how mm-hmm. I choose to run my health or my vitals. Mm-hmm. And they get offended. I'm just going to say that. They get offended when you do that. When you're like, okay, thanks for letting me know. Bye. <laughs> like, yes. Wait, wait, wait. No, you're not going to take this? No, I'm not. No, actually. for what? And, they tried to and, get my, and, my grandmother on some uh, some diabetes medication. I went get that got some bilberry. I told and I gave mm-hmm. her some uh some dandelion root infused with some milk thistle. I put on that for like a month. I changed, I, you know, she's older, she's stubborn. So like she didn't go meatless, but she did increase her fruit intake and stuff like that and start doing her exercise like I told her to do. Gone. Mm-hmm. Gone. Oh my god, you was about to go sit there and pay all this money. No, no, you know how expensive insulin is? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> and that's that it's all in the plan. It's all in the plan to me. Mm-hmm. That's all. I'm like, the point was for you to get all that. Um, you were saying something about eyes. Oh, you are saying how eyes are the map. Um, yes. Not only that, but also your tongue. Your whole body, I found out. Like, there's a bunch of different things. That I have you're a ne- chart. 
Oh, <laughs> I have to check. Your nails, though. If you um, if you notice that you get like the little um, little white little the little lines, yeah, lines on your nails, yeah. Um, that's a zinc deficiency. If I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's a zinc deficiency. Um, if you have you said the white lines with the on the nail zinc deficiency. Yeah, zinc is zinc and calcium, but you you're right. Okay. Um, your eyes, if your eyes are yellow, that's a, that's a huge indicator that your, uh, liver is, your kidneys and your liver are not working well. Bio, um, excessive I tell, bio. I, yeah, that's, oh, I tell women, um, when they're like, oh, well, I haven't got my period or, um, when I need, um, or I have PCOS and my period's not coming, I say massage your ankle right behind your ankle, massage that area. That's okay, kind of reflexology. Cool. Okay. Uh, Are you thinking okay, me? <laughs> you, you, you know what's going on, right? So I'm like, and they're like, massage my ankle, girl. Just, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> just massage your ankle, okay? And then the river but comes yeah, rushing. so <laughs> exact. So those are every, your entire body is one whole thing that's connected. Mm -hmm. This is the map I was telling you about. This is one of the but, ones I studied in my class. Like, it's a um, it has the like the left eye. I don't. I, it's hard to let me see if I can zoom it in. Yeah. So like, it shows like which this is the left eye. And it shows like different parts of like different organs and system. Like if you mm -hmm. have certain like um, discoloration and things like that, it shows that problem. Same thing right here. The discoloration mm -hmm. of the um, like I was talking about that. Wait, let me read it. I'm trying to read it backwards. Yeah, the ascending colon, transverse descending colon, and the rectum and things of that nature. Like it's all mm -hmm. it's all bro. It's literally maps and highways. So like it's like the fact that prime example, and I'm and I'm leave it alone. Like this is where the poop comes out of. This is technically where your booty hole is. But this, if you have like, um, like you remember them little, them little cardiovascular, like the vessel inflammation I showed y'all earlier? If you're inflamed in this area, that's actually a sign that your left kidney has acid in it. It's, ain't that crazy? It's like all these things yeah. are so intertwined. Like in the same thing when you say with, refle with reflexology, it's like if you rub behind the, the back of the ankles and like you, the menstruation cycle starts. Yeah, because your lymphatic nodules and your cardiovascular nodules, they're all intertwined, you know, but I'm a, literally it's the whole system mm -hmm. not only that but it like so i was actually just learning about our circadian rhythm so that like too. they they like to tell you oh well your circadian rhythm is just your sleep wake cycle and in class we were learning about how the like your circadian rhythm is also um connected to your organs not only yes. is it organs but it's also connected to your um the food what time you're supposed to be eating yes so intermittent fasting doesn't work because it's intermittent fasting and somebody just came up with intermittent fasting. It's because literally that's the time, that's the clock of your body. Yes. Whole thing. Also, I was learning about days too. The days also go yes. in with all that. I'm like, yes. this whole thing is, we're all just connected. Okay. Yeah. I'll be trying to tell but, people it's like weird, bro. The way the, when you really study physiology and you die, like just, if y'all study nothing else, just go study physiology. And, like, you will see that literally every waking molecule of our body, the trillions that's within us, they all have clock-ins and clock-outs. Like, exactly. they all work exactly how they need to. We're not saying that they just shut off completely, but it's like, there's times where they're most active and they're idle, yeah, waiting on things to happen. Exactly. So if you're eating at 3 o'clock in the morning when you're supposed to be processing something, no wonder why you're have I'm not even gonna that. lie. That was hard for me to stop doing. I'm not even gonna cap that. Like I'm not even about to sit here like I'm perfect. You know how hard it was to me, and even like with fruits. Like, cause I, I tell people, even if you're gonna snack later, at least snack on some fruits. Honestly, just let your body do its job. You know, yeah. and like it's like, cause one thing that used to baffle me is like I would eat before I go to sleep, and I wake up hungry, and I wake yeah. up with headaches. But instead of your body resting when you're sleeping, it's working. It's like okay, I can't rest. Because this dude didn't put by four, five, whatever's inside of us, and we got to get this out. You know, and mm -hmm. then, like, now your morning poop schedule may be off because, okay, when we were supposed to use the bathroom, now we're pushing, this has to wait, so it's just sitting there. And now all this other stuff that you ate has to go through the system to get there and add to it, or until the pressure, or until it gets into the ascending colon, that's when that comes out, and now it's having to over and reprocess again. And by the time you did eat something else, guess what? It's just this. No break. It's just going and going, and that's how constipation, Mom, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> no, you, you remind me so much of me. Because I'm like, no, and then that's and then this. And then the weird. Yes. It's, it's all a system. It's all a system. One thing. Somebody said um, that was hard for me because I worked their shift. That is, that is 
pretty much why I was learning about the circadian rhythm other than school. Um, but yeah, third shift, and I'm not trying to scare anybody, but it's a study found that they die sooner than people who are on morning shift because their circadian rhythm is off. So yeah, if you're eating bad, you're up when you're supposed to be asleep, you're living backwards, quite literally living backwards. Um, yeah, your body is definitely not happy. But I will say this because I, I wanna I wanna make sure they understand they take if y'all take anything from this, because people have lives. You know, I used to work I wouldn't get off to like one, two, three o'clock in the morning, depending. What you do you know, at the airport? I work over, huh? What you do at the airport? I used to work at the airport. I was doing um, I was doing Avis and budget. Okay, never mind. Got you. No, I was no, I wasn't no no pilot. No, no, I wasn't doing none of that type of stuff. But um, I was over there, and then I also did like I did mechanic work at Avis and budget. So, like I did clerk work and mechanic work. So I was on both sides. So um, I would I would find myself like having the like because your body's gonna adjust to it. So mm -hmm. your body will adjust. But do know if you're going to live that, if you're going to have that type of job and live that type of lifestyle, if you can. The reason why I made the detox the way I did it, like, instead of just having set times by the hour, it goes certain ways. Try to implement more H302, which is fruit juice, to where your body, because people, I don't know why people can't understand this. You chewing and eating something as opposed to drinking it is two totally different digestive processes. Like, a prime example. The foods that you eat via vegetables, well, the vegetables that you eat, they go through, um, they go through your pancreas. Fruits and the sugars and fruits bypass the pancreas, and it's a different type of glycemic uh, uh, um, reaction. So mm -hmm. it's like if we can understand at least that and understand that insulin is a key, we can properly understand that okay, well, if I have to, if I have to live this type of lifestyle, and this is my job because I've done it before. I should focus more on. If I can be up at 12, well, y'all know mid, midway in the day, 12, that should be my heaviest eating. And mm -hmm. then whenever it comes out to my night shift and I'm still hungry, let me focus more so on fruits and or fruit juices to where my pancreas ain't got to work hard. My stomach ain't got to work hard, but I'm getting my minerals. I'm getting my vitamins. I'm getting my hydration, you know, <laughs> and I'm getting my energy because one of the hardest things for me working at the airport was like, I have to be, how you doing? At like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. And we don't feel like with all these you know, and I'm sitting naturally, I'm just like, oh, now keep in mind, I was working at the airport. Um, I'm also a musician, so I'm gigging. Like, when I'm not working, I'm gigging. I'm traveling. I'm, I'm the one that don't drink or smoke, so I'm always the DD. On top of that is, like, I have to study for I was still uh, on, in college at the time online. I was still trying to, like, it was so much on my body. You know, driving back and forth. I just started dating Amber, too, so, like, I was driving in and out of town to go visit her and stuff like that and be by her. And it's like, my body was like, dude, you going to burn out. But yeah. until I started fueling it properly and got on the, because like I love to work out too, but I can't work out heavy and not fuel myself and then go to work and have to work twelve hours and I'm sitting there like this, fucking heavy. But and like like it just it's not gonna work like that. But you literally you know. turn into a zombie. I know because yes. I, I was there for two. Um and yeah, night shift was not it. Um, but I'm glad that you talked about um H three O two because I don't think. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to say nobody knows about it, but you know what I mean? Um, I want to talk, I just want to talk that, talk about how coconut water, cucumber water, yes. watermelon, um, all of your heavy water based fruits mm -hmm. are way more hydrating than just regular water. water. Yes. Now, disclaimer, <laughs> y'all, if y'all just, oh, no, keep going. I'm going to tell them, I'm telling them afterwards. I was going to say that's the structured water. I was, yeah, I was just going to say that's the structured water that's actually going to hydrate you. So if you, I hope y'all like coconut water. I love coconut water. But that's the water that you should be drinking when you're working out. When you're, um, honestly, I would say just drink that in general. But um, yeah, bypass H2O and drink you some uh, H302. Yes. Now, to add to that disclaimer, if you have calcium problems or if your liver doesn't like break down things as quickly as they need to don't drink as much coconut water because coconut water has a lot of mm. calcium and potassium inside of it which is good mm. we need the carbon constituents we need the energy we need the natural sugars from it it will definitely revitalize you and put your health to another level but at the same time it's so potent of a of a, of a mineral and a vitamin to where like if you're not filtrating properly you need to lean more towards same thing like she said still stick with the fruit juices but more towards like berry juices or other combinations of fruit juices because it's just coconuts are like they like you can literally 
make baby food out of it. You can literally like I was like, just about to say that. I was about to say, did you know that breast milk is most or is similar to coconut milk? Yeah, it's essentially I the same thing. I was like, huh. That's somebody that's said enough. body armor drinks. Leave, leave that alone. That's a whole yeah, bunch no, of processed no, sugar. Not not no, that stuff is fake. <laughs> and and disclaimer, y'all. Disclaimer. Um coconut water and milk the same. I'm gonna answer that later. No, they're not the same, but I'm gonna answer that later. Um disclaimer. If you're getting juices and drinking a bunch of juices, we're not just saying go to get fruit juices like Welsh's and stuff like that. Yeah, it no, no, no. has to be cold pressed because and I and look, I was somebody that was even drinking pasteurized um juice at first. I didn't know the difference, but when I dove into the pasteurization process and then the new laws that they just added to it, it's strictly cold press. It's strictly cold press because it's like you're gonna get everything that you need from it without having to because I. It's it's hard to get a lot of juice out of blueberries, and I love blueberry juice. And, and I was drinking a pasteurized version of it, not realizing that they pressure cook it, which stretches out the molecules, but they heat it, which changes the um the um the um the chemistry, the actual molecular chemistry of it. So it's not the same, you know. It's not exactly the same. So whenever I go to cold press, you know, I might mix it with like I might blend like maybe some distilled ice cubes that I have or something like that, or just I might just make it a smoothie before I do cold press because it's like it just helps. It helps like hydrate the body ten times faster, y'all. Ten times faster. Mm-hmm. And don't be surprised. Mm-hmm. Last thing, if y'all got sensitive lips like I do, don't be surprised if you start doing fruit juices and then your lips start peeling because they're exfoliating from the inside out. So don't pick at it like me, because I will pick at it. Don't pick at it and don't rip it. Like let it get to the point to where it's about to. I know you, it might look chapped, y'all. It might get you some coconut oil and rub it on there. It might look a little chapped, but let the process happen because your body's like, oh, we can let this stuff go, and it's going to let exactly. it go. Um, what do, what to do if I feel like I have acid reflux? You want me to ask um, you got that? I, my, if I just had to say an herb, I would say slippery elm or marshmallow root. Now to combat that, uh, definitely the herb that she's talking about, that's going to flush you out. But to combat that, do understand that it's just an off balance of acid is pre-acidosis. So like if you're eating meats, what's 10 days just take 10 days off of meat give your body a fighting chance and don't go for such sub acid or acid fruits go more for your melons more for your sweet fruits more for like your dates and grapes and green apples and red apples and um your melons and things of that nature to recoach your body reset your body and then move however you want to live your life is how you live your life but if your body is already telling you that we're having a hard time dealing with acids don't give it more acids even we did, people don't realize it, but like you're not actually getting energy and protein from meats. You're you're it's a mixed with cortisol from the adrenal glands, which exhausts you. But that's a whole nother that's a whole nother that's yeah, like a two hour long description. Much from different meats. You're you run wondering why you're depressed. That animal was high, depressed. High key. High key, bro. <laughs> you're eating pheromones and we're eating hormones. Literally. <laughs> Um, somebody, I saw something about, cause we were talking about plant-based, eating plant-based. And then somebody said that the, um, plant-based foods that we have, she said, are those not plant-based or something like that? Or are they chemical? I, let me look and see what she said. Oh, yeah, Bossy, before I answer it, cause I, I, I kind of think I already know what she's trying to get at. Yeah. Like, uh, cause the plant, pretty much the plant-based foods, she's like, are we vegan? Don't see it. I don't see it. Yeah. Um, well, if we well, still well, in here. Go well, ahead. just to answer the thing, so when it comes down to like why we're saying plant, not plant, they say plant based, but his thing, they say plant based, but it's not not her, but like the the corporations, right? They say plant based, but it's not really plant based. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say something. I want this to if y'all don't I'm about to say, let it stick to you. The front is for entertainment, the back is for education. Always look at what you're eating and drinking and flip it over and see what's in there. If you're eating or drinking such and such juice, it shouldn't say concentrate from with this citric acid, blah, blah, blah. It should say, oh, I'm drinking coconut water, coconut water. It should be the only ingredient in there. So, like, when we have plant-based stuff that they're trying to, because they're trying to um, mimic meat and things of that nature, but that takes binders, that takes chemicals and things of that nature. So, to be on an actual raw, not even vegan, but a raw, like, plant-based diet is to actually go from the fruits and vegetables themselves and comprise your own meals from that rather than getting these things that have all these binders and all these chemicals and stuff in there because the some some act like beyond meat. Yeah, I was the binders beyond and stuff me. that they use is the same thing that they that that you see in the uh in the I forgot what chemical it was, 
but it's the way that they package red meat. It's the it's the exact same chemical. Mm-hmm. But you know that's that. It's just a big. They just brand it. That's why I hate about big industry. They just brand stuff, and people like. And there's no no diss to nobody watching this. It's not that y'all stupid or nobody stupid. You know, everybody just has their level of education where they're at. But it's like the average person isn't going to do the research. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like it's not that you didn't understand because they told you it was plant based and blah blah blah. blah. Pretty, and I get exactly, and that's what they. I I told you the things that I wanted you to know, not the things that you probably know. Yes, and it's new. It's like if it's new to you, it's like well, the big industry is not going to put out anything that's going to harm us in the long run. Average person not thinking like that, you know. So, buddy, after you in this comment section, she is beautiful, and she is. Thank you. (laughs) Um, um. She said that she thought vegan food was plant based or something like that. Yeah, um, I, I don't, I don't know. Pretty much, there's a lot of different chemicals and different dyes. The same dyes. You might as well go have a bag of hot Cheetos. Um, not, I mean, honestly, honestly. <laughs> like it's, it's honestly. all very, it's similar. So, um, when I say when we say plant based, it's like actually, and I'm not gonna even say it, it's even hard to say. Go to the grocery store and get some food. Right. There's so many different pesticides. Like there's, right. I think over a hundred different pesticides uh, sprayed right. on strawberries so really now i'm starting to go to farmer's markets i would say find your nearest farmer's market and start going there i legit just got some cold pressed juice from a farmer farmer's market um a lot of the food there too is even cheaper so you're not getting coming straight from them exactly so you're not getting um all the pesticides you're not getting all these different harmful ingredients and you're just your regular old fries Kroger, whatever and i will say this to y'all don't be hard on yourself because cause i just see it see, and somebody already said it before i even got to it she was like chemicals are in, in everything don't don't be so hard on yourself because we have to realize that we're eating foods like foods go in case y'all didn't know foods go by generations like prime example bananas real bananas seeds are about that big you have to like literally pluck the things out to even eat the rest of the banana but They've altered it in so many ways for us to eat it to where it's like if you buy it and say you're not even thinking about no seeds and no bananas. So we're <laughs> eating generations further and further away from the first generation of the actual fruit and our vegetable we're consuming. And that's just so they can survive in the areas that in the in the environments that we have now. But also, you know, it's not really the best, but it's better than nothing. You know, it's like <laughs> things don't carry the same bottom as the meals that they did before because the soils aren't even being agriculturally, even this- you know, enriched like they used to. You know, so mm-hmm. it's like do understand that take everything that we're saying and do your best with it. You know, like if you don't, if you don't have a local farmer's market and all you can do is go to Walmart and get those fruits and vegetables, just clean them off the best way possible. Clean them off, get all that stuff off of there and do it like that. It's even better than going and get, at least getting meat and like process and stuff like that, you know? So take the time to find and find what works for you. Like I'm mm-hmm. like, man, look, I'm going to let you know right now. I, I love tart and sour fruits. I can eat that all day. Mm-hmm. not everybody around me likes that so i've learned to like even on promoting fruit and things that i like okay here's all the actual categories that you need to indulge in to even have a bit of satiation and get the proper nutrients from because we just that's the times that we're living in unless you're actually right. growing your own fruits and vegetables you've already eliminated the 80 percent of the control you have over what types of fruits and vegetables that's, that you're putting in your body so don't be hard <laughs> on yourself start just at least start and go to the store or your lo- local farmer's market and get what you can and omit certain breakfasts instead of bacon, eggs, and cheese. And, and, and it tastes good. Because, look, I love it me does, a little Waffle does. House. I'm not even gonna, I love me a little Waffle House. But at the same time, I understand that instead of me starting off with a melt in the morning, I must give me some oranges and juice those. Give me some grapes, apples. Oh, by the way, grapes, apples, and cucumbers. Mix that together and watch what happens. Peel a, um, oh the things, though. But, um... Or just grapes and apples too, and blueberries. Yeah, however you want to do it. But uh, and that that's just my my little sour fixing. But um, mm-hmm. fruit juices in the morning. Watch how that changes your day. Instead of like people be like, well, I need coffee. Sup coffee with fruit juice? Well, you'll be buzzing all day, all day naturally. But that's a that's another thing. That's another thing. Oh, your volume, your volume went out. Give us a second, y'all. Can you hear me? You lagging? Well, give it a second. It needs to reset. I hear you, but you're lagging a little bit. Say something. Hey. Yeah, it's a little bit of a lag. <laughs> but you, but your audio. No. Back. We'll keep okay, going. We'll, we'll on. work with it. It's go, it's getting smaller and smaller as we go. It's just your connection has to reestablish itself. 
Okay. See, now you're not liking no more. Um, okay, we're back in. Okay, cool. I got a phone call. Sorry. Um. Okay. So somebody said, "Wait, coffee isn't natural." No, the only thing that's not good for is for animals. No, no, not cat. Wait, what'd you say? They say coffee, huh? Yeah, coffee. Yeah, that's not that's that's not something y'all should be drinking because it actually erodes at the uh, the liver and kidneys. Yeah, and coffee in general. I think uh, I said coffee or is it sugar? I think I was talking about sugar. Never mind. But coffee, you do add a lot of sugar, but whatever. Um, so yeah, coffee, all of the caffeine in it is very addictive too. So, yeah. I mean, you don't want to be addicted to it. Um, I wanted to talk about how somebody said, what did she say? She said, um, on your side, that there's chemicals in everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are chemicals in everything, but lessening the load is better for you so yeah. if you can like i was saying if you put a filter on your shower if you could just take yes. out the detergents if you could uh switch to a menstrual cup instead of using the pads you big game you changer big game changer yeah you like because then your body isn't trying to filtrate all these different things you're not throwing this huge load at it so it's like yeah. do small changes that i know that we're talking about so many different things so it's like it seems like we're like oh we'll take this out take this out take this out don't do this don't do this i usually say we'll take like five things that i said take that out of your, out of your daily life and just try to live without it and then it becomes yep. that becomes your lifestyle and that's then once that's your once that's your lifestyle take another five things out and then now you're living like that and you're literally lessening the load excuse me you're lessening the uh load uh, chemical load on your body so yes everything does have chemicals but i don't know i just try to be kind of try to help on my body no but you're but you're right though it, it does come off as like oh we're taking everything away but that's because they haven't dove into the other side like mm -hmm. i felt the same way man i can't because look down south i love me a good little smothered rib i love me some you know some stuff here and there some alligator all i love that type of stuff mm -hmm. but i had to learn that even though i like it it may not be what's best for me so I have to find an alternative. And then once you actually start eating right and doing the right things according to your body, like you'll be like, dang, I don't even have space. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just because we don't know a lot of what's on the other side. Not only or that, just but like feel... we can go ahead. You keep going, you go. I was gonna say I feel like people are like, Well, I, I these are things that I like, but you don't like how you feel though. You know what I mean? You don't like what? having a heavy period. You don't like yes all the time you don't like having yeah. pimples or cystic acne you don't like that your hair is falling out you don't like having yes. soft nails you don't like having uh stomach pains migraines these are different things that you don't like having that you just like the food at that particular time and then not only not only are you uh when you do change e your eating habits and different things like that you're actually changing like you're how can i i don't know how to explain this um when you're changing your you're eating right habits, right. um hot cheetos don't taste the same uh, Chipotle yeah. is not going to taste, taste the same. Once you get yeah. in that that lifestyle, yeah. it doesn't taste the same. And then when you try to go back to it, you're like, "This is nasty," or "This is entirely too sweet." We're eating right, that. Sick. Right? You're like, you're eating that. How can you, how can you eat that? That's uh, yeah. I don't, I don't no, know. No, you no, but you no, you you spot on with it because I remember whenever I came back, and Chelsea as my witness, I had just transitioned, and then. I had the five dollar box for Popeyes came out. I was like, "Well, I'm clean. This shouldn't affect me." I was dog sick, like it was it was tearing me to pieces, you know. Mm -hmm. But people just they just gotta they just gotta learn how to adjust and live with it, you know. It's like it, not everything that people that this is the perfect this is the perfect word I could use. People live to eat rather than eating to live. Mm -hmm. That's two totally different types of mindsets. Mm -hmm. That it is, yeah. Chelsea says she loves how hot Cheetos is always your uh, go-to example. It's true because though. I love you some hot Cheetos. I love hot Cheetos. That is my love. Like a lot of holistic people on here—they're not keeping it real. It's like it's like they be quick to say, "Oh, it tastes nasty," and blah 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 blah. And I'm sitting here like y'all can sit here and stunt. Like back then, it didn't taste good or not. Blah 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 blah. It's like y'all know doggone well that it's is well to put some of that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, let's let's stop lying to these people. Like, I don't, I never was. I like, I agree that once you fully cleans out your system, it does taste different and it doesn't taste the same, and you probably will get sick. But mm -hmm. like, when people aren't really like, like really out here, like fully like diving in and cleansing out using herbs and stuff like that, they taste buds and and cellular levels haven't had a chance to adjust. So guess what? When you when you slip up a little bit, it's gonna taste good. Mm -hmm. You know, people need to stop lying to themselves. Like, it's a fight. It is a mental it is. fight. It's discipline, but you can get through it. Yeah. 
Somebody say, can bless and share her dandelion root latte recipe? She said it tastes like coffee. I will. I'm going to tell you guys how to make it. I am going to make my video. I don't know how many comments, how many people messaging me. I, I don't know why it's taking me forever to do this video. But it does taste. Have you had a dandelion root latte? I don't drink coffee and stuff like that. I just, I just do my. I ain't gonna lie. If I'm not drinking fruit juice, I'm drinking. Tea. I'm drinking like herbal teas with agave in it, and that's it. Okay, so for me, I used to be on. Um, I used to be Starbucks. Uh, a caramel macchiato. Mm -hmm. That's my go-to right there. Um, but so I, I'll say how to make the latte. Dandelion root. I actually get the actual dandelion root. Uh, you can do the tea bags, but I don't. Um, like doing that um you steam it for like <laughs> you can steam it for 15 20 minutes um you want it to be dark black um my friend actually had an a really good idea she was like instead of putting ice in um to make it cool down really quickly just do uh why not ahead of time freeze some more dandelion root and then have hey, like little have hey, little ice and i was like you might be on to something but steep the dandelion root um, I use local honey or um, any of the, the honey that I've been showing on my page. Uh, and then I'll add in coconut milk and ice that thing, ice that mug. Put you a little non-dairy uh, whipped cream on there and drink it. It tastes exactly like a caramel macchiato. When I tell you it is the best thing in the world, it tastes so I love that you found a substitute for it because, like, most people are like, don't drink it. And it's like, well, what, what I'm going to drink? <laughs> what, what I'm going to normally drink then? No, look, and I even bought a Starbucks cup so I can put it in there and really have the feel of what I was drinking before. When I tell you guys, when I first started drinking those, I used to drink it before um, work every, every day. Y'all, my skin got poreless, my, my everything. I was dropping weight, everything. It, uh, it was really good. I'm here. I'm I was told agave was bad. Huh? I somebody said agave is bad. I've never used you agave. I don't no, think I've agave heard, is bad. I've heard mixed reviews about it, but the reason why I go to that before I go to syrup and sugar because to me, at least from molecularly what I've studied, between agave and local honey, even though local honey is better, agave is still derived from what well, agave that I get. It isn't heated. So the chemical and chemistry constituents of it isn't altered. It's more so steep and are extracted from it rather than heated. So it's not acidic or, or it's not, it's not turned into a polysaccharide. It's still something that can digest naturally, but to each his own, that's something that's still up for debate with a lot of holistic people. And I just chose to, it's, I'm not putting sugar in myself. I'm just not, I'd rather put mm -hmm. it out there. And that's just me. Right. Yeah. Instead of white sugar, that makes so instead of white sugar agave, I like honey. Honey is my favorite thing. Um, Manuka honey, raw Manuka honey, not honey is expensive honey. as hell. It is, but that's my but it's favorite. good. It's good it, though. That's my favorite. Um, um, what to, for plant smokers? Do you not guys think smokers. that it's <laughs> that's that's what you said? <laughs> Do you guys think that it's natural or very harmful for your body? Personally, once you burn um the plant that you're talking about and it's in your body, it is toxic. You Boom. can have it into a tea though. Boom. Boom. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's exactly what, what I was gonna say. Yeah. I don't feel like I don't feel like um well, in general, I don't feel like smoke belongs in your lungs. But once you do light a flame to that what you're talking about, it's harmful to you. The chemistry changes, yeah. Mm -hmm. You said exactly what I was going to say. That's that's 100% correct. And, it, and it's tough. It's tough for people to realize that because that's the way it's been introduced. It, it, mm -hmm. it gives you a high. It, it pulls you away from life. You know, it becomes like a drug. But mm -hmm. even if you don't want to admit that, it, it's that. But unless you're edibly consuming it, and you're not changing the chemical properties of it. I mean, it's not healthy. It, like you said, we, nobody goes inside of a house and smoke and, and the house is on fire and breathe in that smoke. They can't yeah. breathe that stuff. It's not, no. it's not right for the body. But you yeah. get like whooping cough or like different tar, different type of infection, stuff like that. So same thing with that. You burn it and you're inhaling it. It's the same thing. Yep. Uh, what Tough is a truth, good but it is what it is. Somebody said, what is a good everyday herbal tea? Uh, nettle, nettle seed. Nettle seed is good for your stomach and your lymphatic system. I was gonna say stinging nettles. Um, that too. Or alfalfa, alfalfa tea. Alfalfa, me, true. 
Yeah, to me, alfalfa tastes like straight grass. I feel like I cannot. This is grass, but it is so nutritious to your body. That's why I do the um the chlorophyll that I get. It's um it's alfalfa based. It's not like the other chlorophyll that I have. If I you, okay, I thought you were. I was, no, 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 I'm saying mine is too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, what about sour sap tea? I've never had that. I've heard that the sour sap fruit though is really good. It's amazing. If you cook it, it actually smells and tastes like pork. Really, it's crazy. I don't like pork. I don't like the way it smells. Down here is a delicacy, but <laughs> really? but it's like like it's the thing about that particular fruit. It can that in that in jackfruit. It, they're so manipulative. Like they can be used. Also, I sure do. Um, Chelsea I put coach also has tea recipes in the shop. I do, but um, those two fruits in particular are like they're very malleable. You know, so mm-hmm. you can definitely cook them. You can eat them raw. You can tea them. Like now, here's the thing about sour stuff though. It's bitter. If it's in the tea, it's mm-hmm. bitter. But it will literally like it's. You know how they say anti-cancer? It's super mega anti-cancer. Mm-hmm. Like it, it'll get the job done. Anything I've I've been researching, a lot of the um just bitter things are anti-cancerous. So high astringency. Yeah, the um um I think we were learning about orange peels, lemon peels, lime peels. Mm-hmm. If you actually get those, those are actually very uh, anti-cancerous. Mm-hmm. And bitter- be looking at me weird when I'd be like, blend your lemons and and drink them with water and and. In dandelion, they be like, "What? You'll see. Watch. Watch." Yeah, you're it. Yeah. Um, thoughts on hibiscus tea? I like hibiscus tea. As far as um, I think that's really good for your um, menstrual cycle. Yeah, but not, I don't. Go ahead. I was gonna say I know that a lot of um, I know the Hispanic culture likes to put a lot of sugar in the hibiscus tea. Don't do that. You gotta have it sour. Speaking of the uh. Mullen or however you say it, Mullen. How you said it? I said Mullen. Mullen. Well, that particular herb, that's actually their herb. That's their. It's domestically from them. Mm-hmm. All right. When I yeah. found that out, I was like, "Oh, that's why y'all allergies don't be having allergies." That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 There's a group on Facebook. All right. If anybody has any questions, everybody follow. Coach Brian, please follow this man. I'm trying to and get like some million said, followers like Hulk. Like I said in the beginning, y'all know I don't I don't talk about nobody else's products. I don't talk about nobody else's stuff. I don't talk to nobody. Um, so <laughs> the fact that he is here knows that he's you know that I'm telling you the truth. Y'all already know I keep it real over here. I'm a preacher. And same thing for her, y'all. Like I love the fact that I get to surround myself and I'm not racist when I say this, but I love the fact that I'm meeting with because I, I meet the holistic people, different shades and colors and stuff like that. But I love that one of my good associates is a black woman. You know, it's like down here, it's so male driven, you know, and it's like mm-hmm. I, I, I miss that motherly or like that that feminine healing energy. Because mm-hmm. like, for example, in my house, it's all girls. Like whenever I do decide to have kids, I'm praying to God I get all girls. All both of my dogs. Really? Are male. Oh, yeah. I, just, I want all new. girls. I want all, like even my like my uh, my godchild and my favorite niece, like. Like they just, we just, we here, you know. So it's like that's the energy that I love, and that's a spirit that I love because it's just something about, it's like my grandmother, for example, God rest her soul, a nurturing black woman that mm-hmm. knows what she's talking no, about. I, I get what you're saying. It feels comfortable, yeah. familiar. There you go. Exactly. And then, like I said, I don't want to come off like I'm racist or nothing like that, y'all. But like, no. you know what I'm saying? It's like I just I look for stuff like that. And then like when it comes down to um. As far as, like, because, like, I'll be looking for other holistic people out here, too. It's, like, there's barely any black guys doing it. And it's, like, mm-hmm. I just need another problem. <laughs> like, give me right. like, I can't be the <laughs> only person out here doing this stuff, you know? Right. I completely understand what you're saying. Um, I'm not going to I have to tread lightly. Because my information is for black women. Everybody can use my information. But I'm here for black women. <laughs> yeah, I'm, here for, I'm here for black women that's what it that because that's what i am um everybody can use my information everybody can use your information but i'm here for the black people here we go yeah and and uh, and I, I ain't gonna lie i hate that we have to tread lightly on certain topics like that right. because, it's, because it's like 
in no way, shape, or form are we trying to exclude or omit anybody else that's not black. But you know, when we look at the state of our community, it's in shambles. And we don't have people like, I love, well, I'm not going to say what we talk about off the camera, but I love your vision. And I love your dream and what you're trying to do for black mm -hmm. mothers that's trying to have babies naturally. Like, mm -hmm. it's not that we we don't want to go to the hospitals and be with the surgeons and stuff like that, but it's more so like, can we be safe? Can we feel safe? Can our knees get like, because one of my best friends, her name is Kai, she's a singer. She's a mm -hmm. doula. And mm -hmm. like, bro, one of the most warm, inviting, breathtaking, like, her approach to the process, it's so, it's holistic on another level. And it's like, that's the type of stuff that we're missing. And people like to think, oh, they're, they're flashy and trying to be flamboyant and ghetto with it. It's like, y'all don't realize we come from rhythm. We come from color. Yeah. We come from like, everything has to harmonically bond and make things easier so we can process. We don't come from all that other stuff. So excuse us if we have our rites of passage that are meant to benefit and evolve our people rather than to right. stagnate us. Like whoever's idea it was to have to say that we're going to have children on our backs blows my mind. It's like try to poop on your back. It don't make sense. Mm -hmm. Like it, 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 oh, let me. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. But look, you, you you get where I'm going with it. I do. I completely understand what you're saying. And yeah, my entire the entire purpose i think what you're saying is the fact that i do want to be a doula for black women and i respect that you didn't say that because i mean i do i'm i'm very i'm very open about that i do want to be a okay i just didn't you know for the blacks of the women's because we are dying at a crazy rate and mm -hmm. i don't agree with it so i mean instead of sitting around here listening to the stats i'd rather do something mm -hmm. about it and i'm not going to lie to you i questioned those stats for a long time i mm -hmm. really did but then uh, and to ask you a question real quick, they're talking about low libido and women. Damien the leaves. That's gonna really Yay! help you out. And that really <laughs> but um, but um, da once again, Damien the leaves and and the red, no, not the red, the uh, the yellow macaroon. But uh, well, that was the, the over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to go on, go on her side. So she'll help you out. But um, but yeah, I, I, the stats were kind of hard for me to believe at first too. But then I have friends that's in nursing. I have friends that help past children that's in the operating rooms and they come back and tell me from a very unbiased standpoint they're like yeah it's a drastic difference on how we being treated out here you know because we're people like us we're not in the hospital 24 7 we don't like going to the hospital right you know, my but sister, like, went to my sister is yeah, yeah like, your sister she's, she's in the nursing right screaming. yeah she said she was literally screaming and they were looking at each other like yeah okay and she's like uh help her <laughs> like you know what i'm she saying hurts help her there's women that have said that they've had stroke or they were saying, oh, my head hurts so bad. Nobody listens to her. But she it, come to find out she had a stroke during birth. And I'm like, and then and then the whole thing, they like if you do have um, your husband there or your boyfriend there or whoever, he doesn't know what's happening. And they push right. you out of the room and then they drug her up. C-section. You right. have no idea what happened to anything ever. Right. Where, where is the placenta? That's the ending. That's my hey, whole hey, thing. Hey, let me tell you something. So. I don't know if it's like that where y'all at, but when my sister-in-law had the most recent, the most recent baby, the plan was to take the placenta, because we had a whole holistic talk about it. Take the placenta, plant it in the backyard to enrich the soil. It is that in the third, take pieces of it, capsulize it, blah, blah, blah. Y'all already know where I'm going with that. Mm -hmm. And them people fought us tooth and nail. You gotta have paperwork, you gotta get this done. Our own it's, organ. It, it's it, yeah, it's illegal. This, that, and the third. One of the nurses, and I ain't gonna put information on that. One of the nurses slitched, like, hey, go, just go here, here. And, like, gave, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sitting there, like, like, I produced, well, not me, but, you know, like, if I was the mother, I produced this, I made this, like, I passed this. It's like, are you serious? You gonna this, tell me what I'm gonna do with what I literally made from scratch? I'm like, come on, stop playing with me. Like, it, yeah. it, makes, it, makes, no, I, it makes no sense. I find, I found out that the, um, stem cells of your placenta can cure leukemia and after i learned yes. that i was like oh so that's what you're doing with it now because if if we didn't know that it could uh cure leukemia i don't know what else it could do but i know that a lot of the immunization for the baby is in that blood so what are you doing with it <laughs> like i just want to know what you're doing with it and why do i have to go through all this paperwork to take my organ it's because it's literally an right. organ that you create that you created but right um yeah so and from and don't get me wrong from a legal standpoint 
I can understand it. Yeah, I can definitely I understand can. it. But at the end, of, but just 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 for like backing and stuff like that, like it, legality is like you know how they get. But mm. at the same time, it's like we still talking about like to in, in my opinion, we shouldn't question what I'm doing with my body parts and my organs. We mm. shouldn't be questioning that. What I decide to do is what I decide to do with that. You know because. Before all of these hospitals and stuff came around, our, back in our ancestry, it was normal to take the placenta and either eat it or plant it for the next harvest because it enriches the soil. You know, so it's like we instinctually we're feeling things that have been that have been passed down and been practiced for centuries. It's been watered down due to the the, the way of the world now, but like it, it just doesn't make sense to me why they should even make us even go through this process of like, oh, a pl- you can't take your placenta. Like, what's... At least... Uh, and maybe that's something I just don't know. What's so dangerous about me taking my placenta? What's so dangerous about it? Like, what's so wrong? What can I do with it that's gonna that's gonna spark whatever, like a, a problem? Or, you know, like, like t- let me know something. But Somebody said the only thing we do is make you sign uh, a, and, a sign and release for it. Uh, no question, just sign and take it with you ASAP. Um, they didn't do that with us. Yeah, and I was gonna it say... Was it, hell. It was hell of- to get that. There's there. Okay. Um, so I used to work for the government and you're going to understand what I'm saying when I put it all together for, uh, we learned that people, when we're doing, I don't know if I can say this word, uh, I'm thinking of a different word blessing. I'm going to say it, um, for terrorists or, or things like that. Uh-huh. Um, they're not going to tell everybody this is this is the plan with this, 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 and this. They're going to give you, this is what you do. This is what you do. This is what you do. Once all of you guys do what you did, my plan came for fruition. So mm-hmm. you, so I'm not trying to say you don't know what you're talking about, but I'm saying you're playing a part to a bigger picture. Like my sister said, oh yeah, we just discarded it of, like over here. Okay, you do. But then where does it go from there? Yes. I don't know. Okay. So somebody I mean, on my end says, garbage. uh, they said she said legally if you didn't sign to donate it they shouldn't take it but they also get paid to donate them from the hospital hmm. so and of course it's a money thing donate it when it's donated that that's really it's very expensive like that stuff yes. is expensive like i don't yes. know if y'all feel me but that's, what yes. do you mean donate for free i don't think so <laughs> but <sighs> there's certain things i want to really dive into but i'm knowing we're gonna get flagged for it but I'll I know so there's there's <laughs> even though even though we go to these doctors for this, that and the third, there's big amounts of money flowing in there for a reason. And I'm going to leave mm-hmm. it at that. I'm going to leave mm-hmm. it at that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wish yeah. we would have done this on. Um, what is that called? Patreon. Because. Mm-hmm. Well, we can take the filters off. Yeah. I want that yeah. book, Mama Shay. Mama Shay talking about a book. Give me that. I want. I want that book. Whatever you're talking about. Uh, is it? Uh, yeah, um, he's somebody said. Please explain, sir. Explain what? Um, pretty much what we're talking about. The I but can't. we can't. We can't. Yeah, I, we can't. I can't. That like not only do. Yeah. They're gonna flag us. They're gonna, bro. Look, I remember the whole I was thing talking. Is huh? I said the whole thing gets cut off. Oh yeah, because like I forgot exactly what I was talking about one time, but I watched my viewers went from like fifty, sixty something to like two. I was like, whoa, like what y'all doing? But like they just, it was, they yeah. You come, you coming, love. You coming? Here you go. Bye, y'all. <sighs> okay. Do you have any books that you would uh, like to share? Say it again. Do you have any books that you would like to share? Uh, let me grab a few. While he's doing that, I'm gonna show you guys the beginner book that I absolutely love. This is this is my very first book ever on this. This is what I picked up. Screenshot. Oh, this is the best beginner book in the world. Very easy. Very. <laughs> Here we go. Look, I'm about to be screenshotting your stuff. <laughs> but this is the most. Uh, this is the best beginner book ever. Um, as far as African herbs and different things like that, there's an actual African herb book. You can get this off of Amazon. Um, oh, not only that, there's certain books that you can't even talk about. Um, yes, yeah, yes. and there's certain books that are very expensive because of what they say. But, child, oh, I love that book. Also, I love that book. I love yes, that. Let this me take that out the pile. I'm gonna take that out the pile. Is, <laughs> it. 
this right here is the book. Uh, I did. Hey, did you get the second series of it though? No. Go get the second series of it. Okay. It's he breaks down the chemical code. It's amazing. Oh. It is amazing. It's amazing, bro. I have the. Oh. Let me see. I have the. What year is this? I have the um the 2021 copy. Um, is it on Amazon or where did you get it from? I got it off his website. Oh, okay. And he breaks down like, let me see, literally like the parasympathetic and this and like all of the the minerals that that go into each section, and then they talk about where is it at? Where's my other favorite section? It talks about the sympathetic amino response. Oh my god! Like it's oh, okay. It will. It will. It will. Bro, it will take you some places. I Hold love it. Put, put your book back up. I don't know who which one they're talking to, but this it's this is the first one. I want the second one. I think yours is the first one. Mine is the, the more recent one. That yeah, that's what I just said. Oh yeah, my bad. Yeah, that's the one. There we go. Oh, we got the same books. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That's why we always like, oh yeah, see, I know that too. Yeah, bro. Now this book by Judith Hill, this is the one that Reiki suggested to me. It's called uh, Medical Astrology. I dove into it. I'm not done with it yet because I ain't gonna lie to you. It challenges a lot of my my personal beliefs and a lot of mm-hmm. my holistic beliefs, but they do have parallels to them. So I'm picking and choosing like what makes the most sense. As opposed to what resonates, because like there's a certain like the section that I stopped on. Let me see. It was we're on uh, the vital forces and the body zones. And in holistic in holistic culture, we more so categorize it as systems than zones, because to say it's the way they talk about the zones and the way we talk about systems is almost the same. But they are very, they, I don't know, they just limit it with how they talk about certain things. But in the holistic world, well, the African holistic world, they go way more in depth. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. she said you're taking them down too fast. Um, she said, Coach Brian, you're oh, I'm taking sorry, them I'm down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me actually, let me flip my camera too, because I know I'm, I'm probably not in the right thing. I need to flip my camera so y'all can actually see it. Um, What you call it? There it goes. So y'all can actually see it for what it is. So that's that. Um, your turn, because I got books for days. <laughs> oh, no, I showed all three of mine already. Oh, okay. Well. I tried to say with the beginner ones. Uh, and this encyclopedia of, um, let me see. Oh, wait. Like you talk about this one? Hold on, wait. I think I got it, too. Where is it at? Uh, where is it at? You talk about the ones for herbs or the ones for pills? For herbs. Uh, This one, health dictionaries, or the other one? No, it's a, it's a different one. Wait, hold up. Is that up there? Or it might be over there. It might be in my room. But I think I know it's, a, it's another Africa book. Mm-mm. It Who has it? Who every made, herb in here. Let me show it. I'm trying to... Um, why can't I... No, where's my book? Well, while she looking for that, this one. Dr. Robert Morris, The Mucus Diet <laughs> Healing System. Mm-hmm. I kid you not. If you want to understand... Because he even has Arnold uh, Ehert's uh, candid in here, too. The way he breaks down cancer and the way he structures like the lymphatic fluctuations of acidosis, mm-hmm. y'all gonna be like, y'all gonna be, I ain't gonna lie, I got offended. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I got offended because I was like, I was like, really, bro? Like, you really about to challenge my, you know what I'm saying? But like, when you really accept it for what it is, it's like, all right. Oh, she said, show it again. My bad. Yeah, people are like, put it back up, put it back up. <laughs> I'm trying to have this book download, but it is not. It's Encyclopedia of Herbal Medicine, though. I, I think also, I know which one you're talking about. It's a it's a white and green. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, I know which one you're talking about. That's that's a. That's the one that has when it goes into the herbs. It also talks about the vitamin constituents of the herbs too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love that. I love. That. I have the PDF form. I don't have the hard copy. I have the PDF form of that one. Let me see something that's not going to blow y'all minds too much. Where's my other? I just had that big old book. Where's my other one? Some, something's uh, missing. There's a, there's oh, it's one, over there. There's oh, one there. that I, I'm pretty sure you have. Uh, or if you don't, you should get it. Which it, one? It, um, the er, it's called Herbal Drugs and Phytopharmaceuticals. 
And it literally. Uh, I, I feel like I have the pills for ills that kill, which is like a parallel to that. But since, since you have it, or you got like a PDF of it, I do have it. Um, hold on, let me just go. Up there. Send me. I want you just send me a screenshot, or like put it so we can see it. <laughs> now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm a big reader, so these books that I'm referring to y'all is the minimum 600 pages. I'm just gonna be real with y'all. And the pages <laughs> no, be looking the like, like that. I'm for real. And the pages be looking like this. They be lengthy. So <laughs> look, I'm just warning y'all right now. Oh, he said go get this. You're gonna be reading for months because right. with these type of books, it's not like you just read it through. You have to like read it, conceptualize it. Because if you don't understand it, the next part would not make sense. I don't have that book. I'm trying to read it backwards. Drug, oh, wait, it herbal drugs herbal and pharma, 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 pharmaceuticals. Okay. It, it shows the the drug, Ooh. how it looks all the way down. Well, did I say the drug, the the, the herb. Uh, yeah. How it look, all of it tells you the um. What did I think? The molecule makeup of it, it everything. Yes. This, but this one is. I'm gonna need that. Yeah, this one's a little bit more um. A little bit more in depth. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I feel it. This is my last book. I'm gonna show y'all holistic di- holistic self diagnosis. I was about to buy that. I'm gonna buy it. Yes. Right. Now it's written like it's Lila. It's Lila Africa's book, but Dr. Melanie Stevenson played a big role in this book. And let me tell y'all something. If y'all if y'all get any other book, get this book. But then go to the back where he lists his sightings and stuff like that, and all the other books that he brought. It will is gonna change y'all life and how y'all view everything, and everything's gonna start making sense. It's like hold, like up, certain, hold the books um, up, hold the books up again. Come oh yeah, on. yeah, hold them up. I'm about to put this up. I'm, a, I'm up. a. Here you go. Oh, oh. oh my leg. Oh. Get me started on books, chat. I'll, I'll grab every book. Oh, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. I go in, I'm going in my room and grab this one. Okay. Woo. You're going to need to work at. Yeah, barely get out. No, I'm like, <laughs> Don't look at my nails. I bit them all off. I'm over nails. Bruh, this book? Hold up. I got to flip my camera again. Now, I ain't going to lie, y'all. I have, like, collegiate level books. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I like studying, like, the actual collegiate level of it because I don't like the, the mediocre stuff. But this, the third edition, dude, this right here. Now, I will say, it's not a holistic book. So you have to, you have to, like, and I'm going to put it back up. Y'all know I did it fast. I'm going to put it back up. You have to, like, approach it from a holistic standpoint because you kind of need some of the physiology in this to understand certain holistic uh, aspects. But they broke it down in really? this book. Oh my God, y'all take a screenshot. This right here, like what page I was on? The last page I stopped at, because I just got this book recently too. I wasn't even, bro, I wasn't even like 50 pages in. And they talking about like how carbon constituents break down and how like um, ERRs work and how AMDRs work and stuff like that. And I'm sitting here like, yo, Who is it this fine? is. Um, Michael McGuire and Kathy Bierman. It's the Nutritional Science for Fundamentals to Food, third edition. This is actually a book from, um, uh, I forgot which college I was looking at. Um, but it's like one of their curriculum books. I ain't going to, it all, it costs. It costs, but it's worth it. It's That's worth how the it. a, drug one is, too. It's worth it, y'all. I paid me a smooth hundred something for this. Like, it, it's worth it. And that's that's there you go. I think mine was uh this one was one seventy three. Y'all, it gets expensive when you're trying to learn about these things, but it is important. It is, it is it's gonna change your mind. It's gonna change. And it's gonna open it up change your everything. But actually, speaking on that, because I think that because you're saying that you're learning from collegiate level books, so mm-hmm. do you have to? Ha- Never mind. I was about to. <laughs> I, I know what you was about to go with it. With the- <laughs> You talk about what we, we talking about from the other You talk. You trying to hit? You hit that? What we were talking about the other day? Yeah. They're not ready for that. They're not ready for that. <laughs> I'm gonna just. Call, I'm gonna call that. They're not ready for that because that's gonna that could go one to two ways, and people are very opinionative and subjective. Mm-hmm. And I feel like they're not gonna like that. That can either really credit or discredit a lot of things we just talked about because they're gonna perceive it in a very high mind like mentality. Uh, mm-hmm. That's. Mm-mm, mm-mm. 
Let me just go ahead and relax then. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, I, I I know what you're saying, so I'm gonna agree. I know exactly what you're talking about. But okay. yeah, that's some of our books. That's some of our, and that ain't even all of them. Like I have, I have like 20 more books sitting up there. Look, and... I'm about to call you and say, "Can I just get a screen <laughs> shot? Can I get key key screen shot of my love And P, and look and peep this: the ones that I don't have in hard copies. I made like an external. You have uh, them on PDF. <laughs> son, I have books. I have so many books on here, bro. Like books on books on books in here. Yes. Cause like I'm a I'm a reader. It's like I just love I just love to read. And, and cause like I if you put me in front of a YouTube video with somebody that's like Dr. Morse or somebody like that, that's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna get stimulated. But ain't nothing like me going in there with my highlighter and then Right, mm-hmm. down, writing down some stuff and then coming back and be like, all right, cool, and then going back to the next chapter. Well, oh, that makes sense because you know, like you're cross-examining things and it just right, moves right. Back. You, oh, I saw this in this book. Let me go and open it on the side. Yeah, yeah. Okay. People, people think we crazy, but like, prime example, I'll have this book, my holistic uh health book, and my self-diagnosis book all open at at one time, and I'm going to find a parallel. And once I find mm-hmm. it, I'm going to make it make sense because. Mm-hmm. You have to study both worlds to make it make sense. I can't mm-hmm. just be like holistic, 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 but I don't understand basic anatomy and physiology. Not saying that holistic side doesn't describe that, but these people specifically describe physiology. We mm-hmm. can't discredit physiology because it's right. hand in hand with holistic science. You know, so we just take a less pharmaceutical way to, to fix these things. They said, <laughs> y'all need a podcast together. Can y'all do They say that the last time and I'm down for it. <laughs> right. No, we do. Look, I'm down for it. We got I'll go, look, I just got to figure out how to make my video out at least uh, 1080p or 4K, and we, we can run with that. That's the one thing I hate about TikTok. I can't video out to a camera and have. I don't know. It just it doesn't. I hate this quality, but it is what it is. Oh, I'm gonna say you lost me because yeah, you lost me. I'm gonna be honest, you lost me. It's like okay, so this isn't HD to me. This isn't HD. Cause right. like on all of my tech, like I have an actual like this is my studio, like I have and I have computers and stuff all over. So it's mm-hmm. like it's like I when I go into YouTube or whatever, my resolution mm-hmm. is no less than 4K if I can get it there. And mm-hmm. I'm gonna watch everything in detail. Like prime example, when I go on YouTube and watch these other podcasts, they post it because well, they, it's so clear because they can record it on the camera with the output of the sound and mm-hmm. that stuff in the third. And it's not not saying it's not live, but like YouTube functions better like that. TikTok. I don't, I don't think they even let us do that, but it's like, I don't know if we can do a video out into a camera, back into a screen, and then how are we going to mm-hmm. implement the comments and the features? I don't understand it yet. I haven't done enough research on it yet, but I know for mm-hmm. sure if we get a podcast going, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to look, look. Yeah, we yes, do. My we store friends in my link. we definitely again? do either that or at least have like a Zoom call where we can actually dive into the the real, you know, like the nitty gritty of things, or like a class or something or some. Yeah, we need to have something because I'm I don't like not being way. able to say what I want to say. <laughs> yeah, it it be like that, but I mean, it. I'm I'm ready. Whenever you're ready, we can sit down and iron it out. I'm I'm ready for it, and that'll be something that I feel like that'll really make a big change because we can really take our time. Like prime example. Mm-hmm. We can literally have episodes based off of one or two books and be like, okay, here's the chapter for today. And we break down how that works physiolo- physiologically, mentally, holistically. And then the next episode is, hey, part two is blah. You know, I already have, okay. like, I'm good with mapping all that type of stuff. But me, you know. me too. Me too. Okay. 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 Something that'll be very <laughs> <laughs> we just got to get it going. Okay. Um, I think that was all I had to say do i have any uh oh yeah go to her go to her page y'all go to her page and go to her site check out all her products because for all the people that wasn't up in here i'm gonna show y'all a few products that i have of hers that that are pretty dope um i have the let me reverse the camera so they can see it in context um so i have the pineapple and papaya uh acne wash even though we had uh it needs to come on now don't do that to me that's the acne wash. I have the Chloro Clear. It's a chlorophyll powder cleanser. Really, really good for the gut. Really, really good for internal de- uh, deodorization. I have the intentionally glowy turmeric powder cleanser. Mm-hmm. Please keep this away from your clothes because it's gonna stain it. And I love the feeling yourself. Like this, this is dope. <laughs> I like, I like this one. 
Billy It is chlorophyll. Now, now, as far as like what I do with things of that nature, I we're getting into like herbal blends and stuff soon. But all of my stuff, y'all go to the link in my bio, y'all go to coachbrian.com. Um, all of my protocols are there. All of my herbal frequencies, my music is there to help you heal. All of my tea recipes, all of my my consultation links, everything like that, it's all in there. Somebody, oh, somebody over here said he got your scroll. That's what I'm talking about. But um, all my stuff is on my website. It's all digital products, but it's well worth it. It's stuff that you can use over and over again, and it's knowledgeable. The same way y'all see us talking right now, it's the same way I break stuff down in all of my products. I don't like leaving people in the dark. I don't like leaving people with questions. I like to leave people with answers and routines and actual protocols that you can use on a day-to-day basis. Yeah. So we have a sale going on right now, too. Um, can I can I tell them about your promo code? Yeah. So if y'all go on her site, her promo code is Demon Time. Jesus, it's Demon Time. But if y'all go on her page, y'all see why. Uh, and uh, we have <laughs> we just have a big sale going on my page. The detox that we just dropped is twenty dollars right now. So if you go on our site, it's just twenty dollars for a ten day detox, and y'all go enjoy yourself. Y'all have a y'all make sure that y'all not only getting it, tag us. Yeah, like we have so many people send us messages of oh it worked and this that and the third. I lost so much weight. But y'all not sending us actual results. And right. People be qu- and, like, we can't post. Like, people not going to believe screenshots of messages. I'm just going to be real with y'all. People think that stuff like that is fake. Like, mm-hmm. videos. Like, if y'all go to, ooh, Moonbeam, if she's still up in here. Um, God dang it, let me see. She. Um, I, oh, I was going to say about your detoxes and mm-hmm. uh, the people calls. He also has the herbs that you should use in that in that specific. Um, All link to it. Whether it's lymphatic, whether it's I don't do you saw uh, the reproductive one. I think it's still up there. I know we're doing a lot of revamping on the site right now, so mm-hmm. um, um, I think it's still up there. If not, it's gonna be back up soon. But if anything, I feel as though the detox is what people like. The detox is the newest product. The detox 2.0 is the newest product, and to me, it's the like as you know, we're constantly growing as as healers and stuff like that is the most compiled of like some of the most recent things that I've really used in a lot of my clients and mm-hmm. used in a lot of my own personal body. And I'm just going to put it to y'all this way. If y'all looking for a friend, cause that's my thing is like, I want people to take their first step with me. I'm not saying, Oh, like we're going to cure it all in 10 days, but I'm going to show you the difference of what 10 days of working with me can do as opposed to a year with a doctor, you know? Mm-hmm. Ooh. I love it. I'm ready for this podcast. Me too. I'm so, you got me excited. <laughs> like, I'm so ready for this podcast. I'm like, when, 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 when we going to meet again? When we going to meet again? I'm going to text you. I'm actually going to text you act, after this live. So mm-hmm. we can't. Also, I'm going to be, be in your state. I don't know. How, how close are you to Vegas? Five hours. Dang. Well, I'm going to be five hours away from you. When? Uh, my mom and them trying to, uh, my mom and them trying to do like this, uh, this like family gathering thing, like, later on in the year. So whenever that actually comes into plan and stuff like that, I'm going to let you know. And we'll probably work some out or maybe I, I might be able to take my own trip out there depending on, well, I got a budget, depending on if I can afford it. So so we can link up or something like that because like mm-hmm. a lot of my great associates and friends that I'm making on TikTok, Reiki is in Canada. You're in, um, you're in Arizona. Um, mm-hmm. wait, what state? Wait, not, hold up. Vegas is in what, Vegas is in, is in what state? Nevada. And where you at? Arizona. Oh, you're in Arizona. Tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Okay. But um, well, yeah. You're my other friend. He's in he's in uh Vegas. You're in Arizona. Tal is in um Tal is in uh where is it? She's um I know I think she's in Nevada too. I wanna say she's in Nevada too. I think she's around that, that area as well. But like a lot of my good, essentially what I'm saying, a lot of y'all are like hours and hours away. From like me. far but, away. Yeah. But I want to, you know, I actually want to go out and hang out with everybody because like mm-hmm. it's time, bro. We do all this talking. I have a lot of family. FaceTime. So. Why well, I me mean, sure, Whatever. Oh, oh, you're right, Chelsea. It is Colorado. You're right. It is Colorado. I'm tripping. She in Colorado. But uh, but even it's, it's uh, my point is that it's, she, they're hours away. Yeah, y'all, if I'm messing up all these things, I don't be remember, remember. I just be knowing y'all not close. But, um, but yeah, if you got some family in Louisiana and you come down, Louisiana ain't nothing but a hop, skip, and a jump. So, look, you let me know. All right. 
Hmm. I think some more questions too. See, see, somebody said, "How did we get into the whole holistic lifestyle?" We said that at the beginning of the live. Did, did um, did you by any chance record this? I did not. I was just about to say, I uh, I take if you go to the live center, you can download it. I'm gonna download it on my computer, and then I'm gonna put it on. She said geography is not his strong suit. So Got to save the brain power for holistic stuff. Just we gonna fight. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, I, I go to live center and then I save it. So it's going to be on my YouTube within the next um, probably two days, I want to say, because I got to make a thumbnail. Also, sit, matter of fact, send me a picture of uh, whatever you want to use as a thumbnail. I'll do the little cutout, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'll make the thumbnail, then I'll post okay. it. Okay. Because I'm trying to get my YouTube up as well. Like, I don't post enough on my YouTube. How do we feel about Butterfly Pea, uh, pea Flower? Butterfly Pea Flower. Yeah, uh, that's the one that turns, it's blue and then it turns purple when you um, put acidic to it or acidity, yeah, lemon to it. Um, I, ha I have it. I have not actually used it. I've heard that it's very soothing. Um, yeah, that one, to me, I, I saw that on, um, uh, I saw it on TikTok. I was like, oh, let, me, let me look at it. I haven't got into it yet. I'm trying to remember what it's exactly. It's a little uh, blue flower. No, I know that. I'm trying to... Yes. Okay, so the thing that I learned about it was that it's really good for... I don't know if I can... Y'all know the C word. The thing that's on that men can't find on women. Mm -hmm. It's really good for the C word. And I don't know the proper... Because I haven't dove I haven't dove into it as far as like its usages all the way. Because I, I like to know where things come from and like what they're most beneficial for before we talk about consumption. Because everybody be so quick to just swallow something. I'd be like, no, let me understand how this works first. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But from what I do know, neurologically, it's really good for that the C word. It's really good for the sensitivity. The dosages, I don't know yet. But I'm assuming with everything in great caution, like you start off low and then you ratio, mm -hmm. you ratio it if your body's not used to that, like our bodies uh, are. But um, from what last last thing I read up on it, it's gonna drive your circulation to the next level. So um, yeah, y'all might want to be careful with that before y'all end up um drowning somebody's child. And y'all end up on y'all end up on the news. I'm gonna say that it's one of them. It's one of them type of herbs. Can y'all take us through your average day and how you integrate everything? Say how we what? Um, can you guys take us through your average day and how you integrate everything? Integrate? Yeah, like, like how, do, how do you take your herbs? Like what herbs do you um? So said the real demons. <laughs> um, right. But how do you, um, like, how do you take your herbs? What herbs are you taking? And I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go grab some. But well, you can start. I, I'm gonna go grab some. Okay. So y'all, this is mine. Honestly, goes by um, my cycle. Women were on a 30 day cycle, so go by that. I'm always gonna take. Um, well, I'm always. Gonna, let me not say always. I'm going to always try to remember to take um, chlorophyll or an alfalfa or um, something that's nutritious. Nutritious like. Um, nettles stinging nettles those are the things i'm going to take every day um what i take current or like what i'll take maybe when during ovulation so in my period is um flowing nicely is red clover i'll take that during my ovulation period so when i have my period i'm good but this is something that if you already have clotty periods if you already have um blood that you want to cleanse out you should take it every day so it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of weird because i'm saying i do this throughout integrate or like i do this during certain periods of my life but you would do it differently you know what i'm saying not yeah, not most definitely. these people would do it differently and i, I, I feel like that's why it's good, it's good that i brought this out so we was just talking about butterfly butterfly pea flower i actually mm -hmm. have some so essentially what i do is and i'm not about to make enough so i'm not gonna waste it but i would take this mm -hmm. and i have this is one of the four uh, teapots that I have. I have a cartridge. So, but I boil my water, my distilled water first. I boil it, then I put the herbs in here. Then I drop it and steep it in for at least like five to ten. The longer you steep it, the more important it, the more important it is for me. If I'm doing some quick ten, if I want some strong thirty, if I want something that's gonna knock me out or like really deal with me, I let it go overnight, eight hours plus. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I do it like that, and then I just drink it like that. If it's something that doesn't need sweetening for me, or what I would use is agave nectar. But if it doesn't need it, then I'll just, you know, I'll move accordingly. But if not, that's typically how I do it. It's not it's not as deep as people make it. The only thing I say is, me personally, I used to, I learned this the hard way. Just don't boil your herbs with your water. Like, just steep, right. steeping it is, is more beneficial. It's way more yeah. beneficial. Um, 
hold on. Where's my other one? Where's my other one? Where's my other one? This cramp bark, cramp bark, along with. Let me see what brand that is. Okay, that's sprout. Yeah, I about to say sprouts. Yeah, the um, my my professor, she said she likes, she knows the guy that makes these formulation formulations, and she said that the sprouts is a actual good, I guess, a good formulation. I don't know, but she knows the guy. So, um, black cohosh, that's something I'm gonna take every day. Yo, hey, let me tell y'all something. That's a game changer. I can't personally take a lot of it because it purges me heavily. But oh, like when I, you say what? I said I just said oh, does it? Yeah, it, it gets my body reacts to it like a sponge. It's like it'll grab it and then I'm straight. I'm on the toilet. So it's like that's a it's it's a it's so good for the lymphatic system. It's really good for the lymphatic system. So if y'all haven't tried that, I'll go get it. As far as lymphatic system, these two, these two, calendula. Mm-hmm. Black Cohosh, Echinacea. Um, which which form of Echinacea? I do tincture. Well, I've done teas, um, but I do tinctures. I'm a liquid person. Same. All of it liquid. Um, Are y'all talking about my tea kettle? Is this, I don't... Amber actually got this from uh, Ross, I want to say. Amber! Can you come see, please? So he, what he's saying instead of ste or steeping instead of boiling is let the don't have the water mean? boiling. It's from Amazon. You're, the herbs okay. there, so you're boiling the herbs. You want to boil the water. Let the water uh, not really cool in the sense of it's not boiling still, and then put your herbs and let yeah. it steep. And the longer cut the flame off, cut the right, flame off. Not be rum. It shouldn't be at a boil. Um, y'all. I don't know if any of y'all got P, uh, PMS, but I'd be ready to break up with people every month uh, around that time. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, what you looking like? You really looking like I don't want you in my life no more. Um, <laughs> so um, don't want my nail either. Um, oh, passion, yeah. passion flower. This right here makes... <sighs> Correct me if I'm wrong. That's a pituitary sedative, right? Um... I don't think so. Okay. Uh, so I'm trying. I'm trying to remember the like how it actually functions. I know it's good, right now. But I'm, I'm trying thinking to remember. about Vitex. You're right. It's not sensitive, right. but it works with your pituitary. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I think this is a nervine. You're right. You're right. I see. I don't. See, I don't be using that one a lot. Well, I don't. I don't. I'm saying using. It. I don't suggest that one a lot. But that one works. That that's a very potent one too. This. The took it from I, I need you to get up out of here to oh it's okay we all good, okay. <laughs> good. we good <laughs> bro not the hollering and screaming I'm weak <laughs> right under my laptop <laughs> okay bro what if like <laughs> what if like you was only dressed from the top up <laughs> did it show it <laughs> Jesus. No, all my herbs over here. Cause I have a whole bunch of them here. Um, somebody said passion flower tea isn't it for me? I, hey, bro, you know what? You know what was bitter? I had did a um a wormwood tincture one time mixed with the um, what was the what was the other one? I forgot don't what the other herb was. Huh? I said don't say burdock root. No, it was something else. It was oh my god, the taste was so horrible, but. It got the parasites out, but that, that taste was so. Oh my god, it was so horrible! Yeah, it was the worst taste ever. What tastes actually good though is a glycerite, the oat seed. Oh, oat seed! I was trying to read it. I'm reading it wrong. I'm like, the seed. What is that? The <laughs> <laughs> seed. To oh. <laughs> That's how I feel about um about Solomon seal. Solomon seal, like the joint tincture, mm -hmm. is really really good for um. It's really, really good for like joints, but like it doesn't taste like anything to me. Mm. This one is really sweet, obviously, because it's glycerin, but I don't know. This one tastes good to me and it's really calming. It's a really calming herb. Uh, yeah. Fish oil. I wouldn't suggest fish oil. Somebody said fish oil. No. Instead of fish for oil, sea this... oil. Say it again. I said instead of fish oil, sea buckthorn oil. Yeah. Or yeah. just eat some avocados. Yeah, well, and, and it depends too. If like a lot of people be saying oil for joints and heart, hawthorn berry is so good. 
And if not, for your heart, I just made a syrup, hawthorn berry and rose hip. How much you charging? Uh, I didn't. I I give it to you. <laughs> Cause look, cause look. <laughs> We no, it's good hawthorn berry in Louisiana. <laughs> yeah, um, it's really good for your heart. Not only that, but also motherwort is really good for your heart too. Mm-hmm. Well, get the, any scar tissue, any pressure issues, it'll get you together. We just had a whole live about fibroids, y'all. Uh, how do you feel about CMOS? Did have you ever said? Have you told me? I'm not gonna say I, I don't. Pro- I'm not gonna say I don't promote it, but. It's the market is so saturated with CMOS right now. It's like if you don't get the proper ones, it's it's like you just wasting your time. You really just wasting your time. It's a big money grab right now. Yeah, I don't. I haven't really been preaching CMOS a lot to people. I've more so been preaching like just what fruits to eat and what herbs to take rather than mm-hmm. CMOS. Not saying that it's bad, but it's like it's so hard to filtrate and find the best ones because so many people have the the trashy ones out there. To where it's like when you actually find a good one, it's sold out. Mm-hmm. So I just rather not until it dies down. I just rather leave it be, unless somebody I know got like a plug that's like for sure good, and I got like a surplus of it. But until then, I just tell people you can get the same thing from just eating a whole bunch of fruits and taking a whole bunch of herbs. You'll be straight. Bladderac. Um, I I'm not familiar with bladderac. I know that really good for the blood, for weight, right? It's it's also good for weight loss or mm-hmm. PCOS. It's good. So bladder whack is a uh, is one of those things that cleanse the blood. So any type of impurities that you have, like especially with people that suffer with sickle cell anemia too, it unsickles the cell and it helps clear out the passageways. You're gonna use the bathroom a lot, and especially mm-hmm. with inflammation and people with arthritis, you're gonna use the bathroom a lot. It's just it's gonna mm-hmm. make you poop, but it's it's a flusher. It's gonna flush out tremendously and get your lymphatic uh, passages moving how it needs to. Mm-hmm. Sean Carr, what's up, Sean? I just realized what's up here. What's up, Sean? Um, Paragard, take it out. Par- Paragard is um, I had used it. Paragard. Oh, they're talking about the the the. Oh, yeah, they're talking about the tincture, the Paragard, the mm-hmm. the thing that has no. I just I looked that up. It has wormwood, uh, burdock. Um, it tastes like a bucket of booty. It tastes bad. It tastes so bad. It tastes like you're eating foot with clay and rocks. Like is, I hate it. But it it works. But I hate it. Yeah, because I, I remember I looked it up and I was like, oh, it has a lot of actual, like, like the actual cleansing herbs in it. Okay. Mm-hmm. The only thing is, recently they found, uh, I forgot what exactly what it is in it, but, like, it's, it's like, it's like 80% on the positive side. It's like the things that make it kind of bad, it doesn't necessarily not make it work, but, like, it just kind of, it's kind of like a, a teeter type of situation. I forgot what the other one mm-hmm. told me there's another one that they have. That's a lot better, but I just say like until we find out, you can use that or just mix your own. Your you own. Mix your own. Yeah, you, you do better just doing like a, a proprietary blend. Mm-hmm. Um, any suggestions for infertility? That I boy think... said like pig feet and eggs. I'm weak. I'm weak. What you say about infer- infertility? Mm-hmm. Uh, it depends. Like what? Well, I'm, yeah, I'm that's very... vague about mm-hmm. it because there's so many different things. Um. No, I was gonna let you go ahead. I was just gonna, I was just agreeing that you were. It's very vague. So, uh, a guy or a girl likes this, so I can know how to. Uh, it's a girl. Uh, and and no, we're not transphobic or nothing. It's just you know, it's just I I know that can go left field with people. I'm not you know a disclaimer, but um, I would say for sure, do like thirty days if you if you're struggling with infertility infertility, it's a mineral deficiency. So I would say for thirty days. Only like 80% fruits, 20% vegetables. You need to be on maca. You need to be on pumpkin seed. You need to be on, um, I don't want to overload you. So I'm going to say scratch the pumpkin seed. So do maca. Let's do um, hawthorn berry to make sure your blood's moving good. Let's do because uh, there's, there's two forms of the same thing. Give me one second. I don't want to tell her the wrong herb because, like, there is one that's like kind of parallel to the other one. This is not an this is not an herb, but one I'm gonna say if you are inflamed, inflammation is a great inhibitor of being of of getting pregnant. But also, folic Mm -hmm. acid, a vitamin. This here, yeah, folic acid. Folic acid is um really good for the follicular phases of your ovary. 
Horsetail. Horsetail. Why did I think of that? Horsetail. Because I was like, because you, because you know, the other constituent of it is actually a poison. So I was like, ah, I gotta make sure I say the right thing. Yeah, that yeah. one you do have to be. Um, yeah, yeah. You have so to. The horsetail is um, horsetail is another one. I would say start off with those. Cause what that that's <laughs> prime example. If you have unicorns root and false, no, you, was, yeah, unicorns root and false unicorn root. One helps with impotence, and the other one is more so for uh for estrogen. So you gotta watch which ones you use. Right, right. And for the people that are talking about fibroids and things of that nature, um, really focus on vitamin K. Like you really want to focus on that to where in burdock to where it can it can help you. I know we never really talked about the herbs to use for that, but they'll definitely mm-hmm. be really good for y'all. Um, and what's another burdock? One? Very good um, for fibroids and just in, in general boxing. Damiana. Yeah, I have mullein in my yard and dandelions across the road. Never knew there were herbs. You better, you better take that as free. You better take that too. Do you want to know what I got out? Well, I, you're not gonna be as hype as I was when I found out that I have all these outside of my apartment. Huh. I have a slew of chast tree everywhere. Vitex, the vitex. No, I'm trying to think. If you got all of that, that's about you know me. I'm a math person. That's about a smooth two, three hundred dollars a month you could you could have coming in, depending on if you're gonna but regrow it or not. I was like, y'all got this? Just they're like, yeah, it just grows really well in Arizona. Mm-hmm. No, that's y'all feel pretty. <laughs> like, that's how I feel about um, what's his name, Ruben? He goes by um, brother Hillala. I forgot his his TikTok name, but like. He has a ginkgo biloba tree in front of his apartment, like full bloom, full bloom. What? I was, I was like, all right, that's not fair. All right, you're right. So you just, you just living with this thing here? Wow. <laughs> um, uh, any herbs for uh, any for asthma? Asthma, Mulain. Like, yeah, it's really good for um asthma. Brotherhood healing. Thank you, Chelsea. That's the name. Brotherhood healing. That's his name. What is the difference between folate and folic acid? Um. Looking at the back of this, I'm gonna honestly say that folate is the I don't know. It's a folate. Folate and folic acid. Uh, folate is the it, it's looking. Nope, I'm not gonna even say that because too many people listen to me. I'm not gonna say the wrong thing. I, but I, 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 folic I, acid is folate. There you go. Okay, yeah, they'll say that because I'm always gonna take it more to the vitamin B side, but if you oh, want to do you... that, that's fine. Well, yeah, it's a part of the, it's yeah, it's a part of your vitamin Bs. Yeah, because I would but say it... you you can you can go. No, go ahead. I would say treat. I don't want to step on nobody's toes. <laughs> um, right, right. It's a, it's a common. It's commonly used. So just be mindful. Just like we talked about earlier with balance, be mindful because. You can get almost the same benefits from fruits and our herbs that's high in vitamin B due to the um the bioflavonoids and stuff inside of it like that. Because folic acid is more so of a concentrate than it is folate like a more broad, you know. Say it again. You said folate is iron. Who said that? Uh Miss Latte. Two one folate five. Is iron. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. My bad. I be th- I be breaking stuff down molecularly in my head. It's like, how can we get to iron? How can we get? How can we get there? <laughs> I'm trying to figure. out. Hold on a second. Because hold on a second. Not busting out the books. I'm here for it. Right. Look. Everybody. <laughs> Phosphorus sulfate. That's why it was confusing me. I'm like folate. Folate, folate, and I'm thinking fo- iron is phosphorus sulfate. So, <laughs> like, I'm just repeating folate, folate. No, a lot of them things sound the dog was saying. Folate? That's why I was like, what? I was like, what are you saying? <laughs> yeah. Somebody said, I see mulling a lot while driving. I'd be like, wow, you better stop and grab that. Right. Wash it off and go ahead and steep it. What are good herbs for a 90 day fast? Nettle, nettle seed tea. Nettle seed tea for sure. It's a lymphatic <laughs> and stomach cleanser. 
So you don't use the actual nettles, like the actual stinging, like the leaf? I mean, you can. You're more, huh? You're more for the seed than the leaf? It has more lymphatic astringency, so like it'll grab more. But for like okay. stinging nettle for men, it's good for our prostate. You know, mm-hmm. so it's like if I want more prostate and reproductive response, I'll do the net like the stinging nettle. But if I want more lymphatic like cleansing, I'm gonna go for the seed because the seed bears more nutrients that activate the lymphatic process. I just got three comments straight. Ashwagandha. Wait, what? Oh, people want to know about it? <laughs> yeah, about ashwagandha. Um, I'll say this because I I used to take it and I used to get kind of high, but like. Just watch it. I'm about to say, yeah, watch the dosage because it's going to give you some, like, as if you're on acid. It's going to give you some weird dreams. It's going to open you up a little bit. Gives me a headache. Yeah, me too. But it kind of, it's like, but that's whenever your body, like, you need to lower your dosage because, like, mm-hmm. it's expanding a lot of uh, brain, not brain vessels, but, like, like our neuron receptors, like, it's making them fire up a little bit more and it requires a lot more blood to regulate it. Reasons why it really messes with people's mentals. Mm-hmm. It's really good for uh, anxiety. But like you saying, the dosages, yeah, you do have to, like, I found that out when I was first starting. And I'm like, I, I'm thinking herbs are just, you know, plants. It doesn't really matter. And I had oh, bro. It's, headache. It's kingdoms and families and right and by crossings. I was like, all right. I remember the first time I cracked open a herb book. I was like, you this mean to tell lot. me the flower is considered a herb, but this little part of this can't be consumed because like literally like different parts of certain herbs beneficial poison deadly like you have to watch how you pull these things out i'll be like all right more power to y'all yeah because look that's a lot yeah ashwagandha it's good for anxiety um i think it increases libido in men i'm not sure if, if it does in women it's not a it's not the best it, it just the relaxes you. for increasing um libido if you are about libido as a man macaroon damiana tongue lee or you can use pine uh pine powder have you heard of yohimbi i use that i have some in my uh, in my in my herb cabinet i can't use a lot of that because i'm already on high so like the one time i did use it i had to go work out because like i was on 10 i could just i couldn't keep still Mm-hmm. It was bad. Like my primal instinct became like I was like I'm never taking that again unless I really need to. Yeah, that's and I have been I have been since then. That one, uh, they actually, I think uh, they're taking that one off of the counter because of how strong it is. That's because man, that's because people be getting like you have the you have the bark and then you have like different other parts that they use for it. People be getting the strongest. They only promote the strong dosage. That's because it's for men. Was mostly for men, and men want to outperform and all of that. Stop yeah, promote. you know, but it is what it is. Get y'all some, like I said, pine pollen. Get you some pine pollen. Get you some uh some nettle seed. Get you some what's the other stuff I read about earlier? I read about earlier that some a new herb I, I was just reading about. I forgot the name of it, but like it goes straight to the pro- it's really the prostate. You clean out your prostate, you'll be good. You'll be you'll fine. Be good. You know, you're not going to need gas station pills and L-histidine and all these other things if you just clean your prostate out. But <laughs> what it is. <laughs> they over here laughing because you said not the honey packs at the gas station. <laughs> Ain't they banned those? I, I, I didn't. Know. I honestly really didn't even notice them. Oh, I did. It was on my on my Twitter, especially, bro. And then, oh, what's his name? Um. Zach Fox and old dude, they did a song and all he was rapping about was honey packs. I was like, Jesus Christ. I was like, this is taking over our culture like a mug. And that, that's the part that makes me kind of upset. It's like they run to that before they run to the natural ways to heal themselves. But people really bad off in these streets. People really bad off in these streets, bro. Like for real, for real. Trying to really figure out what uh what red clover is gonna do. Like, I'm not saying don't, this is not me saying don't research what you're taking. But I'm like, I'll say take some red clover. Well, we gotta research this and figure it out. If I said go get the pink pill because it's so good for you, the- you eat no, <laughs> oh no, distilled water versus spring water. I think that you are the best person to ask on this. Um, I say spring water. He says distilled water. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. And not that one's essentially better than the others. I feel as though filtration wise, distilled water goes through a bigger filtration process. And when it goes inside the body, 
it does more it does more astringent behavior than spring water, which leaves more minerals within the body. So if you was to infuse, I'm saying if you were to put chlorophyll inside of distilled water, it's more effective, in my opinion, than spring water because the distillation process, the constituents that fuse together once the distilled molecules actually merge with the chlorophyll, and then when it passes through, your your kidneys filtrate it a lot better. It's a lot less that it has to work work forward and do, but that's just you already know how I am about this. That no, type of and stuff. you're not wrong. That's the thing. You're not wrong. It's just a difference in. Like, I'm not saying I don't use uh, distilled water, but spring water is always my go-to. Mm-hmm. The, yeah, yeah. Um, at my hospital, I didn't really go hard. Down, taken to the Wait, use. Oh, Darren, don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm just playing. Um, Irving, wait, wait, whoa, what happened? Yeah, I know. I just read this whole thing. I just had a whole conversation in my head. Um, it says at my hospital, the RNs really go hard um, down, go hard down talking about who uh, people who use natural herbs and it's sickening. Huh? I agree. So people at her job, she, I guess she works at a hospital, the RNs. They like bash people like us who would rather go with the herbal way. And I'm like, yo, lady, don't know what she's talking about. So it's okay. Lion's mane. I just learned about that. Don't know a lot the about mushroom? it. Um the herb. Yes, it's, it's Lion- comprised from yeah, yeah. It, it's a mushroom? It's comprised from that, yeah. Okay. Lion's mane is yeah so okay, so I lion, what I know about lion's mane you say what? Uh no I'm just saying I don't use it. From what I from what I've known about lion's mane is it really good for your libido. But like with anything, it's like I'm I'm not gonna say I'm not a fan of mushrooms, but it's like I'm not a fan of mushrooms. You know, really? so it's like what is this it's just like it's a texture thing for me. That's really what it is. Oh. I'm not saying that they're, that they're bad for you, it's just like I'm just not a fan. So I'm it's like but they do work. Hard. You say what? Me and Reishi, the mushroom, Reishi. Oh yeah. I mean and I'll eat, don't get me wrong, I'll eat it, but it's just like it's not my go to. It's really mm. not my go to. I didn't mm. really start eating mushrooms until like a year or two ago. Uh, patients who come in. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what about diabetes? I think we talked about diabetes. Um, I say if you have, if you're diabetic, fruit, a fruit diet, and learn when you when I say fruit diet, learn what are fruits. Um, like we all thought tomatoes were vegetables. It's a fruit. You think that zucchini is a vegetable? It's a fruit. Cabbage. It's a flower. It's a fruit. Um. Uh, what's another one? Okra. It's a fruit. That one's a flower. It's a fruit. Um, so when I say fruit diet, I mean fruit diet. Chelsea say, "Why you put lion's mane on my protocol?" Then because I, it works. It's just I'm not a fan of it. I'm just not a fan of like, even though I don't like it, I don't like to eat it or I don't like to consume it like that. If it works mm-hmm. best, I'm still gonna you know I'm still gonna prescribe it to people because it's like. Just because I don't like it don't mean it doesn't work or it's not good. Mm-hmm. I'm just like Chelsea. No, I'm I'm picky. I'm so picky. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm very picky. Really? And it's it's not. I'm trying to work on that. I'm really trying to. Like I'm I'm really trying to work on that. But like I'm I'm just picky. Yeah. She said, "Don't we- tell me to take stuff you won't take." <laughs> I'll take it if need be. It's just that I'm picky. Like, but like I, I know it's going to work. Like I I. D- you in good hands, Chelsea. I got you. <laughs> did we talk about? Did we give herbs on PCOS? Yes, we talked about burdock. We talked about damiana. We talked about dandelion root. We talked about milk thistle. Um, well, it, for all of you that miss it, uh, dandelion root, milk thistle. We talked about um, burdock. We talked about what's the other one? Uh, I also I remember the ones we actually named. Huh? I like red raspberry for um. PCOS too. Um, definitely milk this. So definitely dandelion root. Definitely. Um, why can't I think? Why can't I think? Um, a lot of people, and I even in the beginning of when I started this, I used to say Vitex, but Vitex is more of a progesterone thing. So um, I don't know what I was saying Vitex for that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but the list that we already gave y'all earlier is like, well, that we just gave y'all, it works just as well. It really boils down to, like we said before, eating a strength. Like, what you should do is go on 30 days grapes, like just 30 days grapes, and then take some herbs and some awesome herbal teas and watch the difference. 
Don't be you. You might be surprised. You might actually pass some fibroids. You never know. Yeah, herbs for um any any type of pain because I keep on seeing um headaches, white willow, cramp bark. Solomon. Oh black, yeah, they they go black perfect. Coal, black coal hot. Yeah. Perfect. Because you know me, I'm about to throw some Solomon seal in there, but you got it. Mm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Eyebright. He was talking about eyebright. Where is it at? How about I just had it? You got to send me that graph. That graph that you got back there? I need to know. Okay. Too. I got to see that graph. It's from the Bernard Jensen Research Institute. I'm going uh, to send it to you. Okay. It's like Shoot, if you want this, honestly, that um the book that you was contemplating in the holistic diagnosis book, they have like chapters on this stuff. Like it breaks oh, it down even further than this. I already bought the um the one that you just the uh did it say neuroscience? No, it said something science. Starts with nutritional in. science, not that yeah. one. Well, I mean that's I, a good one, but like uh for this, the holistic self diagnosis book is good. You can get an iridology book. And because it's just, it's just iridology, that's all it is. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, bro, it's gonna. Uh, but I, I'll still see the chart just so you can get it. Like it's going you're gonna be like, what? <laughs> it's gonna blow I'm your mind. Um, he said he said someone said he said a great diet. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, great. <laughs> yes. It's not y'all. It's not. I know it may sound weird, but it's like when your body realizes you're fasting and you're giving it astringency after astringency, your hunger goes away. Because your body goes into flush mode. You're not going to be craving foods. I promise you. You're going to burp. And then your burp is going to stink. Because you finally get to move and reprocess all of the, that gunk and stuff in there. Reason why we say do chlorophyll water. But if you're going to be fasting off of grapes and you combine that with herbs, you're going to push out so much gunk. You're going to push it all out. Not only that, but the only thing that you really miss after you've passed that, oh, I'm hungry phase is chewing. That's the only thing you miss. Like today, I didn't chew anything. Mm -hmm. It's like I didn't chew anything today either. That's literally it. That's why the, the like the new detox that I put out. That's essentially why I have it set up the way I do. I have like everything divided into fruit groups and tincture groups and stuff like that, to where you're not missing out on the experience that your body normally goes through throughout the day. You're still detoxing, but at a very comfortable rate. I lost a lot of weight being vegan and I'm really small. Would you recommend a fast still? Yeah, most definitely. The only thing is just like with anything, you have the amount of calories that you burn throughout the day and then you have the amount of food that you put within your body. So even after your fast, if you're thinking about weight and things of that nature, you can always eat that back up. Leafy greens is really good. Like leafy greens are really good for building muscle, especially if you're doing resistance training yeah. with that. So 80% mm -hmm. fruits, 20% leafy greens and vegetables, and you'll be good. Yeah, your fruits are the things that are going to heal and detox and flush you out. Your vegetables are the things that are going to build and help yeah. build. It's, on, it's two different sides of sugar. So it's like they, they just they just digest differently. Mm -hmm. All right. I think um, the questions are dwindling. Yeah, and I was like, you roll with them because a lot of your people questions is the same questions I'm seeing on my end. The only one that's different is like, I'm seeing an arthritis question, but we already had did, or we talked about herbs about that. Somebody said endocrine, but we already talked about that. And then everything else is like jokes. <laughs> people be joking on here. <laughs> so you guys have to, um, he's going to upload this on his YouTube channel. Um, send it to me to... to you, want, you want the link or you want the video? The video too. I'm a, I'm a Google Drive to you. Send me your email and I'm going to just put it in the Google Drive. Okay. Because I don't have no space for that on my and no no email could hold that big size of a video. Right. Um, alkaline water is a no. No. No alkaline water. I feel like, yeah. I want y'all okay. to take that alkaline water, turn it on the back, and tell me if you see potassium or chloride in that thing. I promise you it's going to have one of the two and it should, that should not be in there. Water, no. alkaline water is water. <laughs> it's re it's like is real spring or real distilled water. All that other stuff is chemically processed to to be alkaline, and it takes yeah. so much more to get that. Like the only true alkaline water I saw this little Asian girl had did like a um a, a pH test on it. I forgot it's like an expensive water too, but she had did it and it was real nice. It was real alkaline, but like I should be sitting there like I'm not about to pay all that money for that when I can just do my fruit juices. Honestly, if you really want true hydration, fruit juices. Fruit juice. The only alkaline water that I seen that was 
alkaline um, was, I think it's called uh, Himalayan 88, something 88. That sounds expensive as hell. Is Himalayan or Himalayan salt to make it alkaline, I guess. But yeah, that was that. Don't fall for these marketing schemes, though. Don't. <laughs> Please don't. Mm-mm. I had a ACV to spring. Don't get him started on ACV. He don't like that, y'all. Apple cider vinegar? Um, oh. It's my favorite. I love that stuff. Um, I got a whole gallon in there. And, like, my thing is, like, I understand it for topical reasons. Like for hair and stuff like that, but like that's just that's just me. I'm just not a fan of vinegar in general. But it, it's like, it, um, it will 100 percent if you are drinking it like this. It does corrode. It's an acid, so I can't yes. disagree with that. Um, however, as far as I do apple cider vinegar rinses, we get into coochie stuff. Um, so outside of my body. Wait, you but, said the way the who what now? Where you put it where? Apple cider vinegar rinse. Down there, like, yeah, That's not cool. not not just no, not just straight. You gotta dilute it. <laughs> oh, bossy, go. You, you gotta dilute it. You different. <laughs> <laughs> Said she feel different, dude. I got scared for a second. I was like, hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? I'm I'm about to head out. <laughs> dude. Can we talk about the pros and cons of straight celery juice? I've been doing it for two months. It it's more the only the only cons about celery juice is that it takes more energy to burn it than it does to actually absorb minerals and nutrients from it. But it's really good for acne. It's really good for for purging. So I would say do ratios. Do a month or two on it, then get off for a month or two. Like just don't do it. Like you can, or if you're gonna do it every day, just make sure you balance it with a, a good amount of fruits and stuff like that, to where like you're not tearing up your system. Mm-hmm. Coach, um, someone asked, "What's the difference between coconut water and milk?" But you forgot to answer. Um, coconut water is actually from the coconut. Coconut milk is more so like they make it like a syrupy sugar type thing, so it's processed. So I wouldn't mess with coconut milk. It's more processed than anything. Coconut water comes from the coconut. Uh, what was the other drink you said? Instead of H U O, get H three something. It's H three O two. You can only you're only going to get that from um like fruit juices. So. Mm-hmm juicing a cucumber juicing or eating a watermelon that um, part yeah and it's a natural viagra fall them in idea you eat you some watermelon mm-hmm. somebody says i'm making my own summer's eve <laughs> y'all i can't y'all and you better tag me in the video you better tag me in the video i want to see this, this i, I want to see this that's I what it look i will say this that's one thing I don't put past people in the comment section because you and I were those people at a point in time. You mm-hmm. never know who in there going to be the next whoever. And look, mm-hmm. tag me. Don't forget about me. <laughs> don't, me look. <laughs> don't forget about Coach B. Right. Look. You have clean fruits and vegetables. I use vinegar or I'll use un, um, un, uh, the un, I don't really do this a lot, but if I really don't like, I would use this on, um, strawberries. I don't even eat strawberries, but, um, Dr. Bronner's the unscented, the actual soap, mm-hmm. actual soap. I do the same thing or I'll just boil water, dip and do my little dips and stuff in there, especially for apples. Like yeah, I'll dip apple. it in there and then that wax will peel off because mm-hmm. it's really the wax that you got to get off of it or just skin it. Mm-hmm. Sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla? Yes. So that's uh, <laughs> that's really good for um. I have a client that's on there right now. That mixed with um with grapes and dandelion root. If you blend it and take it, people that have psoriasis, it'll knock it out. Like really, in a month. if you're if you're if you have like a really good fruit balance in general, like eighty percent fruits, twenty percent vegetables, or majority high volume fruit in your diet, it will knock that psoriasis out. Okay, uh, you mentioned the strawberries last time. What was our was? It's just the fact that they are, there's over a hundred different pesticides that are sprayed on strawberries, and then yeah. it's not a hard fruit in the sense of like an apple where you can spray it and then it's not going to seep yeah. into the fruit. It's you're spraying it onto it and it's in throughout the entire fruit. You're not going to clean that off. It's, like skin. It's porous. Yeah. It's very yeah. porous. Say that a few times. Oh, hey, girl. Um, 
Well, I think that is the end. Unless you have drive on my side too. Yeah, unless you have anything else to say. Child, no, y'all just go go to her page and get her stuff and go to my page and get my detox. <laughs> Cause look, I feel like with the amount of information we didn't we didn't say it is like Y'all gonna need an episode two or three. <laughs> Cause like, right, we, right. Bro, we, we laid out a lot. Podcast coming soon. For real. Podcast coming soon. Um, all right, y'all. Well, that is the end of the live, you guys. Coach Brian, I'm gonna text you. Thank you for coming so much. Thank you for sharing your knowledge, all your books, all of that. Thank you so much. Hey, man, it's all it's all love, bro. I'm not I'm not about to pass up a moment with you. Like you, you, we here. We here. And I love the fact that people y'all can see we may not agree on everything, but it's like we still down for the same cause and we're going to find a common ground to where everybody can be in one thing, loving each other, leading right and leading in love. We have to protect our black women. For all the men that's up in here, and I'm this is the last thing I'm going to say, we have to protect our black women. Like we have a black woman over here that's holistic. She's with health. She's trying to get everybody together. We're only one per we're only one person at a time. I get that, but like we have to protect our people because it's been shown all in the other places. They don't care. They don't care about us like we like like we think they do. You know, and then like mm-hmm. I said, I'm not trying to sound racist or nothing like that, but I observe my community. You know, and like if we have a gym, let's protect our gym. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. We have to protect our black men too. Of course. Of course. I almost said something, but Chelsea gonna cuss me out if I say it. But y'all know me. I'm a fan of the, the pew pews. I'm going to say that I'm a fan of the pew pews. And mm-hmm. while I do agree, we do need to protect black men. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop because she's going to fuss at me. She's going to fuss at you me. Hey, you got to text it to me. I'm going to text it to you. Child, look, I wish somebody would. <laughs> I'm going to look. I'm going to just, I'm going to just, I'm going to be quiet. I just got me a new Every, pew pew. Everybody that look like me need a pew pew. Especially you. if you're a woman. Thank you. You get stolen for your 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 huh. You get stolen for your uterus walking out of Walmart. I'm about to disconnect off of that one. <laughs> you better poop. Thank y'all for coming to our table. Right, and <laughs> Before on that get note. In trouble. <laughs> Cause look. Woo! Child, just take just text me chat because we cause we oh. gonna, we about to get in trouble. We about to get in trouble. Okay. I feel it, I feel it in my spirit. We about to get in trouble. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Bye, Coach Brown. Bye, y'all. <laughs>